Hello, everyone. Welcome to another healing event from HealTeachLove.org. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. Hello. And I'm going to, for those of you who are new or watching the replay, today is uh, November 18th, 19th, today is uh, Saturday, November 19th, 2022. And uh, Rick and I are healers. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about a background. Um, about six years ago, some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened to uh, in our lives. And while I was busy doing decrees at night, keeping or uh, raising my vibration, <clears throat> uh, while asking my guides to find my children, I had no idea it was raising my husband's too while he was asleep in the next room. My wish of finding my joy encompassed him without my knowing. He started to see orbs shortly after that and angelic beings and ascended masters and then creator. The perfect white light came one afternoon and merged his energy with my husband's. It was after that that everything changed. Rick became a healer and I started receiving downloads of information. Our gifts, our gifts have only increased since then as we continue to grow. Rick has all of the players and so do I. We share the same higher self during this journey as well. It's our honor to be here today with all of you and your um, to help you with, and your loved ones with our gift and to be here with our associate, Philip Barrow. That's my turn. It is your turn. Thank you. Thank you for that, Deb. Uh, yeah, just want a message. If anyone wants any healing, just put it in the chat, by the way. You might have said that before I got here, but I just want yeah, I did. to pull that out. But uh, people are there that have joined. Yeah, I started, uh, I was about five year old and we're walking with us from birth, uh, healing my pet goldfish that died for two days and I brought it back to life with glowing, glowing hands, which was quite an unbelievable feat. I've never had that since, but it was good. Uh, I started doing a warrior, astro warrior work at about two, in the teens. I connected to Mother Earth when I was about seven or eight. Uh, I could control weather at that age, which was quite phenomenal. Uh, I've said right. Uh, what else? I, I'm a crystal credited healer, credited and crystal healer, 20 years now. And uh, I was on a party with all my healing friends last night. That was quite good. Uh, I just think that anything is possible. Uh, everything and anything is possible. It doesn't matter what the problem is. But sometimes you got to find the root of the problem. We, we can do the healing, we can reverse it and fix it. It'll only come back if you don't find out how you got it in the first place. And that, I think that's about it, Linda. Over to you. So yeah. Lily is here as our um, administrator for this, and she will keep track of who's putting their names in the chat mm -hmm. and uh, exactly what she would like us to help you with. We're doing pets as well <clears throat> because we're not having a pet healing this month because of the Thanksgiving holiday which is next weekend. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Lily. Okay, I'm very, I'm very um, it's my pleasure to be here and to assist you. <laughs> it's my pleasure. I always look forward to it. We're yeah. so happy you're here, Lily. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you also. And for the first, uh, now, today, I think I'm the first one. I ask for healing. I have this pain here, like, days ago on the right side where the kidney is yeah okay i see a um there's a i don't know if it's an implant it's there's a spot there there's something there yeah yeah it's, uh, it's a foreign object it's not something that's mm. it's it is an implant oh. it's not an illness oh. it's foreign I it almost, it I almost looks like it's closed right now, but when I look at it, it almost looks like an octopus. But right now it's closed. Mm -hmm. I've never seen an implant that looks like an octopus before, Phil. Sometimes it's painful and then it will be gone. And then it will be painful and gone. And it's like a week or 10 days ago. When did you get your hair cut? Saturday, last Saturday. 10 days ago? Seven days ago? Yeah, eight yeah, eight days ago. So was the pain around the same time? Yeah, same like that. Yeah. It's... Yeah, so you actually it was something happened in that salon. Mm. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. So the pain started that night? Yeah, something like that, like ten days, eight days eight ago. Eight days ago. Yeah, a 
week ago like that. Had you ever been there before? Yes, but that time I was very, I was the first customer. I was very early. And then like I said, um, like there's a ghost here. That is really in my mind when I sat down, it's like something like this, a ghost here. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't a ghost. It was actually, there's a, a portal in that place. It's a negative portal. Um, um, and it's not a ghost. It was a... That's when I get inside, is it, uh, it's very early. You and felt I, it. You felt it. Yeah. And she was alone. And I said, uh, like, like there's a ghost here. <laughs> <laughs> what I feel that there's a ghost. Yeah, not a ghost. It's cold and it's... Yeah. So silent. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a ghost, honey. It was uh, definitely a, a negative being there. Oh. Bill, do you see it? I, I'm feeling it's drawing energy from you back top, back to the shoulder. Mm-hmm. You feel weakness in the top shoulder. Here, you feel that? Here, n- not much, but here, under here. I even feel it now when I move. It's the weirdest thing that this... Excuse me. Um, the better? Yes, it's better. Like a few minutes earlier, like it really squeezed. It squeezed the pain, really squeezed. I know it's better. It went down. It's a, yeah, a bit of a fight going on. Uh, that's all been sorted out. It's an easy evening now, I suppose. No, it went down. It's now like near my buttocks. <laughs> Where did it go to? Hmm? Where did I go to? Yeah. I don't actually know. <laughs> that, was the, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It was a weird place. I, went. I don't know where I went. When you concentrated a uh, feel, it was very painful. Mm. Mm. It was uh, a strange world, to say that. I've never been there before. Yeah. Strange mm-hmm. beings as well. It's, it's gone. It's gone. I'm just going to send some platinum ray in your platinum and ray in your aura field to protect you from this happening again. Okay. Okay. How do you feel? Yeah, lighter. <laughs> oh, that really it, squeezed. It was a strange place it was connected to. I don't actually know where I went. I think it was something to do with birds. I think it was in a. I'm not sure. Thank you very much. That was really. Whew. Anyway, it's gone. Thank you. You want your tooth? Do you want you your want cards? Car? Yes. Yeah, now? Yeah. Yeah, now. So, playfulness. Playfulness. And children. What was the second? What was the second one? Children. Children. The so playfulness. Have fun on your journey. Mm-hmm. And honor your, your child, and have more fun. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So, have, have lots of fun on your journey, that's all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, be childish. Yeah. Thank you very much. On the yeah. next one, the next one, we have Gabrielle. Okay, I need to bring her cousin in. <coughs> What's your cousin's name? Nikki. Yeah. And she's given, she asked you to do healing, okay? Yeah. What's the reason she doesn't come here herself? Um, she's watching five kids right now, so it's kind of hard for her to get on the webinar. Okay. She watches kids, and she's been kind of overwhelmed. She's been sick. Does she feel very low as well? Can you say that again, Phil? Very low, low vibration, very negative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm yeah. seeing that a lot of negative around her, a lot of... Uh... She lives in like a communal type house with her brother and her sister, and it is very much so that way. Last time I went over, I tried to burn some frankincense and mirth and herbs and stuff to try to lift up the vibration. Gabrielle, your cousin wants everybody else to do this for her. She has to do this for herself. She has to make an effort. People can't, I mean, how do I put this? You can't raise your vibration. Other people can't raise your vibration for you. You have to do it yourself. You can get, you can do this for her up to a certain point by sending her love and light, but there gets to a point where you have to take over and do it for yourself. And you have to, you have to want to do this. You can raise the vibration of other people by love and loving your, you know, doing the love yourself. You can do, you can make a great impact. You know, you can't depend on others to do all your work for you. 
And that's what she's doing right now. She's depending on others to do it all for her. She has to do it herself. So when the kids when the kids are in bed at night, what is she doing? Is she getting high on pot? Is she drinking? That's not what she should be doing. She should be raising her vibration. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's not what she's that's not what she's doing. Yeah. She's creating the reality she's in. Yeah. And I don't e- and I don't even know her at all, but I'm getting these messages. Yeah. And they're resonating. They're resonating. She can't she can't ask you to do everything for her. She has to do she has to help herself. She has to make these decisions for herself. And she has to stop and think, okay, am I what am I doing for myself? Right. I can't, you know. We can continue to do these things, but it's not gonna change her. It's not gonna change her environment. It's not gonna change why she's feeling the way she's feeling. It's not gonna change her health because she's doing on that wheel. She might feel okay for a day or two, but she'll just come back to where she started and she get with me. Yeah. Can we yeah. send her can we send her healing and love? We, yeah, we, 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 we will, that. but it's not, you know, Gabrielle's gonna be see. back in, in a month with the same situation. Okay, we can do it today. We yes. Right, I understand. You do understand And I appreciate I appreciate the love and light and also the messages because it is a message for me too, because I do try to help her out a lot. She is also she takes in a lot of stress and it's pain it's giving her pain in the neck. Uh, in, the, in the back and that, but she's keep she's needs more grounding, more walking in next to trees and fields. Mm-hmm. How many children has she got? Five. She's got three of hers, but her, she takes care of the two. That's her sisters. Um, they all live in the same house, and she just kind of refuses to like make Chrissy watch the kids because Chrissy just stays upstairs, and they keep watching everybody downstairs. <laughs> Right now. Gabriel, do you want to just say stuff and I'll give her two cards to see what we're even up to? But if she needs she needs better help, better can journey and everything, she needs to as Deb said, she needs to do it so. Yes. Yeah. Understood. And enjoy the children. Go out or go out in the in an ice cream to ground or something. Right, say stop. Stop. Right, can you see that? No. What does it say? Balance. If she needs help on a journey, we know the spirits, the angels know she's busy. Just ask for help of them and divine guidance, the guidance, divine guidance, follow her intuition. So if she wants to be better herself, she shouldn't be asking you, me or everyone. She should be doing it in her, inside. She'll know. Thank you for that for her. I appreciate it. You're what about you, lady? Um, so I'm a little patch project right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got thrush and a yeast infection and my elbows are kind of bothering me. I slept funny last night. You slept and fell? No, I slept funny like I was trying to sit up and stay up uh, so I could go to the store because the stores are all closed till 6 a.m. So I was night out last night and I fell asleep like propped up on my elbow, I guess, and I was just like right here. Seems to be where the pressure is. So then trace it back to your neck and your spine, because that's where <laughs> that's where the nerve is that's all inflamed now because of that. Okay. So it goes all the way to your spine. Makes sense. Okay. So go to the spine, then down to the arm, into the elbow. You may feel some heat. Feels nice. You may hear some snoring from Marley. He's enjoying <laughs> sleep here. Boy. ASMR naturally. <laughs> All those pugs. I love a pug. Uh, did you see the, the video snor- I posted to Tina? No, I didn't yet, yeah, but she's just snoring away here. <laughs> oh, I love it. I miss his little snoring. <laughs> <laughs> He's so loud. Well, we can't hear it, or I can't hear it. You can't. He has to be next to us. Mm. I feel like it's going down to my fingertips. It feels nice. My fingers aren't popping so much. Were you in on antibiotics recently? Um, no. Well, so I had a UTI, but I couldn't get to the doctor because mom, she wasn't. We had a car situation, so I went to the pharmacy and I took some over-the-counter stuff and 
it seemed to get rid of the UTI, but then now I think I have a yeast infection because of that. But what makes you think you have a yeast infection? Because um, there's some, there was some irritation down there, and my, like my smell was a little different, you know. Well, the UTI will do that. Yeah, so I'm not really sure if I still have, or you know, I basically need to go to the doctor, um, and I've got plans to do that Monday. Are you drinking cranberry juice? <laughs> yes. Okay. Mom had some antibiotic mouthwash um, that I started using uh, last night as well. For, for um, thrush? Well, uh, not for thrush specifically. Mom had it because her teeth are, you know, to pre prevent infection. Okay, but, don't do that. Don't okay. Do that. Okay. That, that will give you thrush. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to that. Antibiotics are, are what strip you of the good good bacteria, which gives you thrush and okay. yeast infection. So don't do that. All right. Thank you, Deb. School me, please. <laughs> get some um, get some Greek god yogurt. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's a probiotic and prebiotic. And eat some of that. Okay. Will do. Thank you. That's a good stuff. And drink some get some either get cranberry pills or drink some cranberry juice real cranberry juice yeah i get the 100 percent. it's good cherry and grape is a nice mix if it's too tart <laughs> sometimes my mouth is just too dry just, with it just mix it with some distilled water not yeah, distilled water okay just well, water dear. it down okay you, you could add a bit of borax to that as well that's right add a little that's borax. on my list Yes. If you just a pinch of borax, don't add, yeah, unless it's 32 ounces, mm -hmm. it's 32 ounces, add a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. Anything less than that, just do a pinch of borax. Do you have borax? Um, yeah, we can get it. It's I just learned about, I also use it for the long mule team. Yeah, yeah, 20 mule team. Yeah. Yep. Use it for your, the inside of your body instead of the laundry. <laughs> <laughs> it's good for both. Keeps everything. For you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what this is. Yeah. Tiny, tiny bit, not a shot of it, like uh, last week. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sending you some platinum. I actually, right. I, lost, I actually lost 12 pounds. I didn't even try to lose weight. Nice. You talked in all the yuck. Yeah. I've added, yeah. I've, I've channeled some central, central sun energy into your art because I think you need to be a bit more girl, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I've been struggling with that, but not now. Thank you, Phil. Got two, two cards. Yes. Now. You had a bit of pain in your neck. That seems to come over to me. Oh, sorry. No, it's, it's the best way. <laughs> he, grounds, he grounds it. He gets yeah. rid of it. Serenity, which I can say right now, which is good. Yeah. So, peace of mind is within you. I think more study, learn new skills spiritual skills i think you're, you're thinking of one aren't you yeah i've been working on studying the tarot and also healing like doing energy healing i've been practicing that more there you go you can practice it if you ever want you can heal me at the end if you want <laughs> Yay, okay and by the way everyone she's get gabrielle's not me mentioned this before so there, there you go cards always yeah. tell it Yes, thank you. I'm definitely going to practice on you, though, if you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. that's fine. All right. Thank you. Love you. Love you, too, honey. Thanks. Hey, the next one uh, is Dilara. She's asking if she has any sickness from past lives or any attachments. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's my first time. It's so excited to see you all here. And like I'm watching and I'm getting really excited. It's super, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Could you turn a light on? Because we need to see you and you're in the dark. Yeah. Okay. Great. Hi. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful you are. Oh, thank you. It's, it's your vision. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get excited easily, so. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, just relax and uh, we'll try and do a scan. Whether any past lives come up, we just don't know. We might do it. Right now. 
I can tell you you're angelic. Yay. Your angel name. You're a male angel. So, but you came here as a female. That's funny. Sven? Sven. S-V-E-N. Does that resonate with you? Sven? S-V-E-N. Sven. S-V-E-N. I've never heard that name. Sven. Am I saying it wrong? I I don't know. (laughs) Sven? That's correct. Sven. Sven? Sven. That is your angel name. You are a male angel in in the angelic realm. You asked to incarnate in this life as a female. I I come to that realization that I was an angel before this life and I incarnated as an angel, but I, I don't know my name. And I, I see one time an angelic being and it was a very male-ish looking female. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the angel, it's just a, a male energy, not a female energy. Right. Yeah. It is. It's a male energy, but you are a male energy uh, angel. So you knew you knew you were an angel. Yeah. I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely, you're an angel. Um, let me see uh, if you have incarnated before. Uh, have you Have you got a sore one neck? A sore neck. Is your neck no, sore? Yeah. Is your neck yeah. sore? And also yeah. the top part of your back. That that is a past life. Uh, I saw an axe going through your neck, and it was quite medieval times. It was like the good old-fashioned battle. And mm. uh, I think you were you didn't you lasted you didn't die quickly, and that's like a trauma. Uh, any resonance with that? Can you feel anything there? Mm. No. Um. I don't, I've got a few lives actually, but that's the one that it's coming up because of the trauma's coming up. If you get what I mean. Yeah, um, yeah, I can resonate with n- not dying slowly, and yeah, I I have something on my back, neck, back, yeah, top of your and back, and it's yeah. <laughs> and yeah. since my childhood, I have issues with things that are like um, touching here, so I I can be really. Like, like all the time like that so yeah it's yeah yeah it, it's like a medieval battle i'm also picking up some roman sort of light and also i'm also picking up genghis khan light as well so i'm picking up three what are you picking up that i'm i'm actually agreeing with you on all of them yeah. i don't think she's had a lot of lives though um no, no. incarnations you haven't had a lot of them uh I think this is the first one where you are a female, though. All the other ones, you were male. And this is the first one as a female. Are, are you allowed to say that nowadays? <laughs> no, really, this one is the first one I think she is, he is a female. Yeah. What we'll do, how we can solve the, the battle that caused the neck problems is we can go in your timeline, so you go close your eyes and, and then just give yourself, give that timeline, your aspect, a, a big hug, because you, you fractured your uh, part of your soul and it just needs to come back, uh, it needs to come back and coax it, and that's why the trauma's still there. So I'll, I'll send you, I'll, I'll try and do that now, so I'll, I'll, you'll feel the energy rushing in and then you might just feel the trauma coming out, but obviously then we've got we've got to then fix you the memory, it's still, the memory's still in your brain if you get what I mean. Uh, can you feel that? Do you feel the energy? Yeah, I, I, I feel something. I, I can just describe. What, what I'm actually picking up was that this part of your soul was partly grounded as well, which is very rare. You actually was leaving back. You were, while you were dying, you were thinking of the family you had, and that's what grounded your soul a little bit. You like a lost soul, lost, lost part of your soul, just a fragment of it. So we'll get that going at that. Do you like singing? Uh, yeah, I I love toning. Yeah, <laughs> you're part of Archangel Gabriel's um, line, I guess it would call it, because he likes to sing. <laughs> He's telling me that um, you're a singer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think that you saw Archangel Gabriel when you said you saw an angel. It was Archangel Gabriel. Mm. I thought when I saw 
her, like I told, it was like a pale blue. Very tall. Angels are very tall. Yeah. Well, they're only nine feet. What? They're only nine feet. Only nine, only feet. nine feet, yeah. <laughs> very beautiful, yes. How is she neck now? How do you feel? I, I, yeah, I feel so lighter and yeah, yeah lighter. Yeah, you, um, yeah. <laughs> this, this part, this so this part of the soul is back in your over soul now, been repaired. It, it, it just had a, it's just had one of the moments where just before it died, it just didn't want to go. So, yeah, quite a battle. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll, I'll send some email in case you've got the memory still in. The, the energy might still be there. The repair's been done, but the energy could still be there. So I'll, I'll send white platinum and ray, because I love white platinum and ray. She's got Christ conscious energy. Into your white diamonds. She, you've got white diamonds going up and down her back. Everything looks like it's falling in place right now. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like it just got put all back together. Um, you're very clairvoyant. Just relax and trust all the messages you get. You've got no attachment by me or anything like that. In fact, you protect yourself pretty good. Uh, yeah. Can you say that again? You you do you protect yourself spiritually pretty good. You're right really? Now. Yeah. Because I'm not doing too much spiritually to protect myself. You might be doing it, you don't know you're doing You're not, I guess she doesn't know she's doing You've got beautiful energy. Yeah, yeah Gabriel's quite, he calls, he calls me the clown angel. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not joking that. It's because I do a lot of jokes, that's why. Can you feel that? Yeah. You just got a download, I don't know what it is. Did you feel a download going in yet? Yeah, I, I just felt something like... Whew. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Mm. Yeah. I'm finished. Yeah, also, you, you have a fuzzy brain now and again. I don't know if you'd agree with that. <laughs> and that got shifted as well. So. <laughs> Bit of fog brain. You want two cards? Say stop. Stop. Like, listening and nature. So listening says it all. So th this is basically saying that you're very, you've got a, a excellent intuition. Yeah, so you can pick that up. But it also says with nature, you should connect to it more. So if you want me, if you want to do the intuition more, go in, into the nature more. Yeah. You go I, into I, nature a lot, you don't do it. No. I will move in a few days from the city to nature. More nature. Yeah. More nature. Enjoy the nature. When you're in the nature, when you're walking and you can feel the breeze and you're in a really good spot, just listen more. See, mm -hmm. see what the spirit will give advice. I think there's a lot of spiritual growth if you want to. It's your choice. Yeah. yeah. In yeah, fact, I, I, yeah. I, I would say you're near, you're that near to an awakening. So, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm on the path since years. So yeah. I, I love this journey. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. You're on mute. I can't hear you. <laughs> you, you. You just went on mute. mute. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's so nice to see you all together in harmony. It's so nice. Thank I'm you. Happy, happy to see you all and meet you all. Thank you. <laughs> You're shining a bit more now. So that's, oh, yeah. Um, she's really shining. Yeah. That, that's... Uh, <laughs> Past life is uh, holding you back a bit. Oh. <laughs> it's big, big difference. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, now the next one, Denise. Denise, iPhone. <laughs> yeah, iPhone. Yeah, iPhone. Which, 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 new, which, new, yeah. which new iPhone? Yeah. Which new iPhone is it? The year 14. <laughs> what? <laughs> which number iPhone? Oh, one three. <laughs> I'll call you 13. <laughs> Can't do 14. <laughs> What's happening, Denise? I, do you want me to tell you or do you want to just... Uh, I can. I can just... Get into, into, get into it. <laughs> we can scan you and find out. Okay. Like I should just find out. Okay. <laughs> you having trouble with your lady part? 
ladder specifically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's oh, women that's and our bladders. I, I was like, what's going on again? <laughs> it's, <laughs> care of you it. know, it's it's almost like these energies, the last few, the last three, it's been ladies in their bladders. <laughs> <laughs> UTIs and this, I mean, it's just been great. It's been crazy. The attack of the bladder. <laughs> It is. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on with it. There is actually something there. It is not an illness. It is actually something. Oh, come on. You can be kidding me. Phil. <laughs> Phil. Do you see it? Am I allowed to read that? <laughs> what? We have another one of those um, octopuses. You have an octopus in your bladder. What the hell? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what is this? The attack of the octopus? Octopi? Are they octopi? I think they're mixing implants and spiritual parasites and making some of the... Is this like a hybrid? <laughs> yeah, it's an hybrid. Of, uh, it's because we got rid of all the others. All the plant implant machines and factories were blown up. They created a new, new one. So. Ow. <laughs> Needs to connect to turn Earth. I thought you know, it got clear. They get bored and just say, "Oh, let, let's create an octopus." <laughs> That's not very original. There's already octopus. <laughs> but well, they went. They used to have all these little things with antennas. Then they went to a square box. Then they went to bugs. They're running out of creatures. They went to spiders. <laughs> spiders, cockroaches, beetles. Now it octopus. depends. It depends on which beings are doing which. Yeah. <laughs> it all depends on where they where, where they come from. Yeah, I guess. This is it. These are very strange creatures. <laughs> Suppose you want your octopus removed. <laughs> you don't want to call it a name. And, uh, what you want to keep it as a pet? <laughs> you want it in a jar? No. <laughs> no, no, I would like to free it. <laughs> no, we want it destroyed. We don't want to free it. We want it. <laughs> and we don't we don't want to liberate it. We want it removed. I don't want it hanging around. No. We want it removed no. and washed. First we have to take it out the place that did it, then remove it. No, no. Bob Bob will get rid of that. Bob will get rid of it. Okay, remove good. Me, me spiritual uh, implant <sighs> eater. Get more. Yes. So where have you been? Where have I been? When did the bladder start bothering you? Um well actually I have blood work done and they called me on Monday <laughs> and was like well your numbers are off <laughs> I was like okay <laughs> I don't have symptoms really yet but I could feel it I could feel it something's wrong you know yes <laughs> hmm. like we're trying to track where you picked up this thing where, where when's the last time you got your hair done <laughs> is this the attack of the salons <laughs> maybe two Thanks. months ago Oh, what about your nails, pedicure, or Manny, Petty? I, I don't do those, no. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting uh, dev IT. What? Go from the IT. What? Go from the internet. Internet? Oh, internet. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> specific group? Specific place? I don't know. I'll just shift it out. <laughs> it's not good. Your shoulders are you as well. Yeah. Uh, shoulder. Your shoulder. Heavy. Uh, your shoulders heavy. A little bit, yeah. I was going to ask you about the left side of my body, like specifically, like, I don't know, anywhere from the bottom of my foot. <laughs> my left foot. Do you see anything there? <laughs> no, it's gone now. It's going. You feel it going. Yeah. It's just a track out. Tracking devices. Yeah, I've got a, a spiritual implant eater friend of mine who likes to have eat, likes to eat. Yeah. I kept getting like, my guides kept telling me that there was something on the left side, the blocking. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, okay. It's, there's clear, they're, they're putting clear ones in so we can't even see them, but Bob can find them. Sorry, honey. It's programmed to find them. They're, they're transparent now. <laughs> but I saw it. 
feel that energy the, going I could see the down. outline. I could see the outline of it. You could see right through it now. You feel that energy going through your iPhone 13? <laughs> yes. It won't be long before we all barcodes, honestly, the way things are going. <laughs> How do you feel now? Oh, definitely. I can feel it. It's like a lot of uh, tingling. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, it won't be long before we have a barcode on that hand, like like God's tended it to. Well, one <laughs> God. Not the real one, but <laughs> if you get what I mean. Right. <laughs> you want two cards? Sure. <laughs> All right, stop. <laughs> trust and trust. integrity. Oh, trust and integrity. <laughs> Yeah, it's the one that you still keep on making the mistakes. Just let them go in. <laughs> Trust yourself. <laughs> Gotta learn from your lessons spiritually. <laughs> you know, them two cards are about the same, actually. Yeah. Tr tr the mistakes you've made spiritually in the past, learn from them <laughs> and let them go and then go forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you, you, okay, everyone's getting a bit of flattening rate today. My, my new energy. It's from 5D, so I'm getting 5D energies. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and I would like to ask because Violeta is with us since the start, but she did not write anything request. Would you like Violeta for healing? Yeah. We cannot hear you. You did not write anything. Okay. I, I, she's new. Can you unmute, honey? There's a little, there's a little button there. Yeah, she had been with us at the start. Where the, where the microphone is? On the very left side, Violita. Yeah, bottom, very left. Uh, there you go. Okay, is that okay now? Yes, I yes. can hear you. Now. Did you? How need do some... I take out all these pictures? Okay, um, I can, I can talk. Okay, I have something wrong all over by my, my body. But most important thing that I would like to have it done is my feet, both feet. Okay. Is it Violetta or Violetta? Violetta. Violetta. It's Thank like you. Violet, E-T-T-A. You call me Violet, you can call me Flower. <laughs> I, I was trying to t tell my husband how to spell it, that's all. He, he writes it down notes. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. And also my pet, that's what I wanted to have it cured. That's fine, we'll do both of you. Okay. You should start feeling the energy in a minute. Yeah, I think we have to. There's something going on with her feet. Yes. Um, it's like a block in front of Something. And an energy block in her. Do you see it? And it's pulsing. They're in both her feet, it's pulsing pain up. Yes. Up. But it's blocking her energy field to ground it. Yeah. It's not connecting to your lower, lower chakra below your feet, which is like a tiger bar tiger crystal it's almost like metal plates that are blocking you and it's shooting pain up your body but it's blocking you from raising your energy level it's blocking your your all your energy field so we need to remove those plates how long have you had this if i say it right how long it's, have you hmm? I, it looks like a past life it's, it's like it's like i saw in yes. a past life they they were hammering things on her feet yeah how long again sorry Oh, you like with it or 10 years? I have it for, since, uh, I have it for 10 years. Yeah, I, I said that. <laughs> Psychic. <laughs> Do you want to know what is my condition? Yeah. I have a neuropathy on my feet. Okay. On both. And it's going up to my legs. Yeah. And is it diabetic neuropathy or non-diabetic? Non-diabetic. Okay, I have, the I have the same thing. I don't know now because um, I just have my blood work done yesterday and I was called to go to my doctor Tuesday. So I don't know if I have a diabetic, I am diabetic or not. But for but, this... But, for you, but you've had, you have neuropathy, but you've, been, you've never been a diabetic before. Yes. Correct. Okay. Correct. Correct. So this is non-diabetic neuropathy. I have the same thing. Um, were you on um, antibiotics a long time, a long time ago? Did you ever have antibiotics called? Called what? Um, at, at any time, were you on uh, um, Cipro or um, what's the other one? 
Oops, Pro and um, I gotta look it up. Leba Quinn. Yes. Uh, I have uh, five years ago, but not recently. Okay, doesn't matter. Both of those cause what you have right now. There's there's mass lawsuits against both of those antibiotics because you're you have the neuropathy from those. That's why I have it. Those two cause what you have: nerve damage. I see. Uh, I'll you're, try. You're not a you're not a diabetic. No. Yeah. I'll try and repair these nerves. Then. So. Let us know if you can feel the energy. And do you want me to do yours? That's what I Mine started in my left lung. My left lung is paralyzed and started there. And they didn't know why my lung was paralyzed. And that's where it started. And then it started going in my feet and up my leg. Now I have even have a, this finger is numb. It's, it's going through my whole body. Well, it is starting to my hands. And it seems like when you soak your hand in water, they get wrinkled. Yes, yeah. And I have pains right here. Yeah. But it's not bad, as bad as my feet. Yeah. Well, I'll try and do, I'll try and merge with my crystal being. I have a look at your blue, blue print in your 11th chakra. I'll try and repair them, okay? Okay. Um, He's going to bring down the 11th chakra, which is your original blueprint. Oh, okay. Ca bring that down and and bring through your original blueprint. He's merging with his other um, selves. You know, All right. Crystal towers being the relax. Okay. Let us know you can feel it. Can you feel anything, by the way? Mm, no, I don't feel anything. How's the pain in your feet? Um, still the same. It seems like when you step on a a, a bee. No, a cellophane. A cellophane, when you step on it, it like it crackles or it feels kind of, or the floor is, even if you are, um, your floor is wood, it seems like they are sandy, very rough. I know. I'm actually feeling nerve ending pains all over your body, it's just the feet, it's what you can feel the most, like a feeling in your arms, your neck. Also, also bring some flat away from the 22nd chakra. It, my feet seems my feet seems better. I feel like all over your body it, it pains. It's just that your feet is what you can feel the most. It's like all your nerve endings are quite like yeah. if you look at if you can see them like I can see through your your body. They're like white. They're like different co discolored patches. You know, like breaks and yes, that's it's exactly that's exactly what happens in uh, this type of um, whatever that this is it, it causes nerve damage throughout the body it's what these two antibiotics do it's as though your nerve nerve endings are brittle and they're breaking yes it's like. yes and they're still prescribing both of these medications knowing that this happens to people are they still gonna come back the nerves are they gonna no, no. only only this way that phil is with, with what phil is doing but medically uh, there's nothing that a doctor can do for you other than giving you pain medicine for the pain yeah, that, that. oh um but what what phil and and rick and i can do is spiritual healing and, and actually physically looking at it, at it through our lens and healing the nerves this way through using creator energy and the crystal source being energy and doing it that way uh -huh. mm -hmm. um i know um I'm not supposed to say this in the telephone, but I am scared to use other form of medicines. I am trying to go back to holistic, so I don't have to use any other like Tylenol or anything like that, mm -hmm. because it's not good, because they are putting something in our medicine. Oh, absolutely, I know. That's not good to the other part of the system of our body. I know. So I might just be go before they do something. <laughs> I know. Have you had the um, lollipop? You know what I'm talking about? Um, you know the uh, the illness that hit that had people stay indoors. Did you get the lollipop in the arm? Oh no, Gab, no. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay, just making sure because that's another situation. We try and remove the toxins from that. Good. Oh, good. I'm just feeling the warm feeling 
that yeah. like heat all over my body right now. Good. <laughs> what it is? Oh, I'm trying to repair all your nerve endings. You can imagine how many nerve endings in the body. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's like it's like it's like uh, doing a 300 mile drive. Uh -huh. Also, this is giving out on me because this is very old. I'm feeling the heat all over my body. <laughs> Good. How do you feel? She's feeling hot all over. I have, I feel the heat going all over my body. Yeah. And also, um, that, like when you move your feet, I don't have that like crackling feeling. Yeah. Good. I step on the floor because I'm sitting down. But my hand feels much better than I was feeling before. And it is, it is a little better. My feet is a little better. Good. What it was like, it was like I was in your nerve, nerves and I was running through it and it was coming solid, proper, but in front of it was like brittle, brittle nerving system and I had to follow it. So right through your body, I had, it's pains in your neck, in your back, in your arms, all over the place is pain. You, uh -huh. you just feel it more prominent uh, in your hands and in your feet, but it's all over the place. It, it, it ruins the nervous, complete nervous system. Yes, yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was told that um, um, I'm having the uh, nerve endings, especially on my feet, that, you know, they're, I'm having a poor circulation. It's not poor circulation. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all from the antibiotic. The doctors don't want to admit it. Of course not. <laughs> They have the license to cure and also they have the license to kill you. Yes, and it took me years because I thought I was losing my mind when my body started breaking down like this and I had not had the antibiotic. I haven't had that antibiotic in many, many years. Many, I, you're talking eight, nine years and my body's still breaking down from it. I still, I just had the pain, the shooting pain from it underneath my arm uh, mm -hmm. two months ago. I, yeah, and still I grew doing up. it. It's still I felt, doing it. I used to work in the medical field, but since all this thing that is going on in our government and us, and also the you know, yes, it's not good. Yeah. So, what can I say? Do you know when I was before I was born, my mum had the German pill, the thalidomide pill, and my my parents was told that I had brain damage. That's what spiritual healing could do. So, but I had nine years of tests. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. said that with, my conclusions was that I'm rebellious. So, I, I don't see. go with the flow. So. No, he doesn't. And then, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> but see, I was told when Rick and I became healers, I was told that I asked to experience this. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, well, um, to me, now that uh, after all these things going on, um, Five months ago, I contracted the COVID, but I was told that putting that thing in your nose, yeah, that tip is also has that. Yes. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> so I, even if I didn't have this, I have this. So what good is that do now? Yeah, it's you're, not. As, you're it's fine. Not as bad. It's not as bad though. Yeah. It's not the bad. thing, the thing is, if you wanted to test anyone, you test it in the mouth. That's where all the bacteria, that's all the diseases are. They all, you, you would do a test in the mouth, you swab the mouth. So yeah. It didn't make any sense anyway. This is this this one is closer to your brain. Right, yeah. So I, you are right. When you do it in your mouth, it's much safer because you can wash it. Well, well that's where the bacteria is. You would think they would want to test you for bacteria well, in your mouth. What we're doing before is they swab it in your mouth and they swab it also in your nose. So what they were trying, I think, this is just my assessment, that they wanted to contaminate your mouth and your nose closer to your brain. Right. And then they eliminated the mouth and they're just going to the nose. And for anyone looking at this, that's just a, a guess. Yeah. I need to <laughs> go to the restroom. We're live on YouTube. The restroom. Look, yeah. Do you want two I'm cards, give you a card. I'm going to go to the restroom really quickly. Okay. You want two? Just wants say her stop. Dog. She hmm? still wants her dog, man. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll do the cards first. Do you want two okay. cards? Hold on. Yes. Say stop. 
Okay, stop. Ooh. So you've got divine guidance and you've got support. Good card, actually. Divine guidance, basically saying you you you're guided by in, your intuition. That's probably why you come come on here today. And support. If you need any help, just ask around. You've got a support spiritual team around you. So you've got a support spiritual team and uh, you've got intuition with divine guidance. So what will I do? I still have to come back with the the you can, heal each you, love? Or yeah, you can come back next week, but the healing takes place for several days. So you're, okay. you're, you'll still have a healing. And it, okay. it might, you might be a lot better after that. You might not need it, but... We, we do uh, two to three webinars a month, so... Okay, so you me something like that? Hmm? When you, when you have something going on like this, you guys have to email me to let me know the time, the date. How did you find today? Uh, I was told to tell you that it was uh, Celia Salazar recommended this. Yeah, okay. You remember Cel Celia Salazar? Yeah. That's her who... Uh, uh, recommend me to go to your uh, healinglove.org. Right. I was yeah. I was told that I have to tell her name. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get that, Rick? What? Got to repeat that. Did uh, Deb. She's Celia. just wor wondering. She's wondering when uh, the next event. How would she know? Like, would would oh, you send her an email? I I did. Uh, you need the voice. What's your email? I'll send. I'll, I'll add you to uh, the mailing list. Violetta underscore. Can you write that down? Yeah. Personal at yahoo.com. I didn't hear the last part. At yahoo.com. Yeah. Yeah. Lily, are you connected? Yahoo. Huh? Are you connected? Okay. okay. What? Lily, oh, are you oh, yes. I know Celia. Celia. Yes. Yeah. Celia. No. <laughs> claro, no, claro. <laughs> claro. <laughs> It, it, it's giving out on me. Uh, Matanda na kasi. Ah, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Your dog. Sure. Uh, you, you, you want to do your dog? Yeah. Uh, 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 dog? Before we do, we, yes. before we do that, how, how's your feet now? Much better. It's much better. That's good. Thank you. Much better. Yeah. What's your doggy's name? Frankie. Frankie? Yes. Hi, Frankie. He's lovely, isn't he? He's old. She's old. Is it she? Yeah, sorry. He, she so, is so, I don't think it matters in this reality. It will be, I think it, you don't call me he or she anymore. <laughs> I know. Especially for dogs, right? Wait, 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 baby. Wait, wait. They're doing the healing for you. Oh, baby. You behave, okay? You behave, baby. Good girl. Gonna be good, so, okay? How's the appetite? Very good. Very good. Good. When I eat, that's what she eats. Because she didn't have any more teeth. Oh. She was born 2008. Wow. She's 14 too. Correct. Yeah, same as um, same as the dog that you heard snoring. <laughs> Does he have a wake up then? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's very content, very loving. Yeah, I see that. I'm giving some, uh, I'll give you some of my own energy, prana, uh, chi energy. Just to give her, build her life for us up a bit. Okay. She's not in bad shape for her age. She's in really good shape. Yeah. I don't feed her. Just her eyes. She has a little bit of problem with her eyes. So we we'll get, get some healing there. Yeah, she's getting blind. Yeah. A little bit of hearing problems too. How's Correct. her hearing? Yeah. Correct. It's cool getting old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's why yes. I'm sending some. I'm sending some chi energy to make it feel a bit young. Just like the owner. <laughs> she takes after her owner then. <laughs> That's it. She loves you very much. Oh yes, she likes to sleep with me. <laughs> okay. She's good. I'll give, I'll give her one card. Just say what stop, and I'll give her a card. I want just one. Yeah. Okay. That's, is that stop okay? It's stop. Okay. You got the same card. She just take <laughs> after you. Divine what? guidance. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I did All shuffle right. them a lot. So she's guided with her own intuition. You know, you're, you've been connected before. With her, before this life. You've got connections before. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know what they are. Okay. 
Well, thank you seeing it all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Nice having you, Violeta. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, the next one. I have noticed this Diane actually, but she's off and on, off and on. I don't know if she's, but she's not writing anything. Diane. Yeah. She, she had been with us also from the start. Hiya. Hi, Hi, Diane. Hi there. I was just going to say, if there's a space at the end, I wouldn't mind a, a wee scan. I was thinking about you the other day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know, you came into my mind the other day. Oh. Are you not feeling well? Um, a bit tired, maybe. Something's taking the energy a bit. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Well, somewhat. It could be somewhat. Mm. No, there's something taking her energy. Are you waking up? Are you waking up really, really tired? Yeah. Have you noticed a change in the energy fields in the, around your area, your house, your neighborhood? Um, not really. No. I do. I feel like there's something energetically going on. You didn't. Ch you don't. You don't feel anything different. I'm not aware of it. I know the last time we spoke, um, you thought there was maybe a portal in my garage area. And, and yourself and Rick and Phil closed it. Yeah, that's quiet. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something going on in your neighborhood. Mm. Do you have a pain in your, in your, just below your neck? Yes. Something to do with that. It could be your, your psychic impulse being uh, drained, if you get what I mean. It's, uh -huh. it's yeah, really nice. So it's not inside, it's on your auric, auric field here that's draining okay. you. So, it's actually like sucking the energy out. Yeah. Okay, like, I cannot. Getting, a, mm -hmm. getting a headache. There's something going on there. There's something in the area. It's, it's like right. an implant in the aura field. <laughs> I've never had that before. It's mm, yeah. This is well, they can't get through. That's it. But they can draw. They're drawing the energy out. Mm. So they're actually drawing your energy out on your auric field now. For you, that's it. Yeah, I'm getting it now. Yeah. Oh, my. Right, I'll get rid of it. Good, <laughs> thank you. You feel that energy? Yeah, warm. Does your neighborhood have little walls? Like, um, I can't that know. Thin walls, you mean? No, I mean um, outside, like not fencing, like little walls, like little no. stones. S stones, yeah, they're stones. Do people put them like for as separators for yards or anything or in front? Yes, there are um, a few. I have a long shared driveway and there are some rocks spaced out down the side. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing like um, this beam come down. I don't know why I see a beam come down. A spaceship above. Yeah. Yeah. It's just done a runner. Wow. As I was trying to investigate it's uh, it's gone oh. it's using you as fuel <laughs> yeah that's oh. what i'm saying i'm it, I, it's happening oh. <laughs> what a nerve that's why i saw these stones and like it's separated there's stones there and it, it's beaming down uh, you, you, the, this thing in your fields will be moving now so you might see what it's getting me yeah i can feel the energy across my shoulders and back of my neck yeah they were using you. Hmm. Should have given them a bill. Yeah. <laughs> Fuel spent. <laughs> Energy's expensive at the moment. It sure does. <laughs> yeah, they only want the best. <laughs> yeah. I'm being told they, they're doing like your Kundalini and you know your chakra and all that, and it's uh -huh. flowing right in the back of your neck. And it's flowing out. So that's where where they put the implant into you. And the, and oh. the back of your neck is your psychic implant. It's real electric field. People power. <laughs> Denise, we gotta meet you. I'm now also, the implants that I've gone, I'm also giving you my, a bit of my chi energy. And I'm also Thank just doing you. some platinum energy as well for the second chakra. Thank you. And also violet flame. And you've know, got three lots of energy. Ah, oh, lovely. Thank you very much. There's diamond light going into you as well. Thank you. Create creator energy. Right, 
feels good. Yeah, very strong. Thank you. Got two cards. Yes, please. Everybody that's been that's received healing at, at last for seven days. Thank you. Stop, please. Serenity and study. Oh. Serenity, the peace of mind. Peace of mind. You've got peace in your mind, but you've got to do a bit of study. Look for new skills on your journey. And if okay. you've got one as well, are you thinking of taking some change? I'm not sure. I've been uh, looking into uh, healing and I've yeah. got an interest in light languages as well. So I've been having a wee look at that. Mm -hmm. So you need to just push yourself a bit more. So. Okay. Thank you. I will. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I'd pick one. Pick the one that yeah. you want the most. Okay. You can always do the other one next. Yeah. And sometimes the healing brings on the light language. Yeah. So as, as you're doing, as you're connecting, because you connect to other energies. If you start connecting to above the 22nd chakra, which is the galactic chakras, then mm -hmm. the light language can start coming through as well. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Thanks so much, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, the next one we have Victoria and Bobby. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Here's baby's picture. Who do you want first? Okay. <laughs> That'll be Victoria. I couldn't get him to come. How are you feeling? You feel you seem better. I, I healed really fast after your healing. It was really quick. Um, I feel like that. I feel I see a hand right here. Why do I see a hand right here? When I got onto Zoom shortly after, some something something I felt um, something hit my neck or pierced, like you know, pinch or something around my neck or something. Someone at, like attacked it while I was on Zoom. But you 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 got rid of it. I had no idea where it went. I didn't get yeah, rid of you, it. You 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 must have got rid of it. I just see a, I see a hand here. Someone's trying to choke me. I just see a hand here. I don't see it choking you. I just see one there. Right now? Yeah. Are you having a lot are you having a lot of trouble around you? A lot of negativity around you. Oh my my dad was cursing at me. Yeah. <laughs> just think of it, it's just a test for you. You just gotta let it go. Didn't happen. Oh, <laughs> oh I, yeah. I I'm fine. I'm a, we we yeah. dealt with it because he, he was having a bad toothache and he insisted on going to the hospital, but the hospital won't be able to help him. We wanted to take him to a walk-in clinic instead and he's like refusing and you know getting mad at me and you know because you know his idea is like i don't want to take him to the hospital right you know because he wants it his way or no way type of thing right and then i have another brother who hospital was, can't help him i know cannot. and my and my other oh. brother was telling him there's dentists in there and there's everything in there the hospital would be able to you know, i don't want to be there for seven hours i did that for my mom for so many decades she had like like eight nine diseases and i was there for her every every moment possible and so this one i would want to try to avoid if i could <laughs> going to the hospital just get some pliers and take you out yourself huh just get some pliers i'll take you out oh gosh um yeah i know i know two things are pretty bad but i think um i don't know if that's my if, if that's my um dad's thought forms you know choking me or or whether it's something else but i felt like literally something something attacked me i don't think it was my dad afterwards uh because before i before i came on zoom i i i made him understand that it wasn't like the case and he felt better after taking some pills so you know he no longer had that bump on his face it's just it's not as swollen yeah so I don't know how long he's going to hold a grudge for, but he's you know, pretty grumpy. <laughs> don't own it then. <laughs> you ain't difficult for yourself. Just let it go. Let him have, let him own that part. You don't oh, I've been letting it go. I mean, otherwise, this guy would just keep going with it. I mean, like he, he can take something happen like, I don't know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago and still and still you know, bring it up. So it's he's very negative and you know the environment that i'm in it's not easy to deal with it but i have to try and smooth it you know mm. and also if he's in a lot of pain you're the one that's getting it that's all i wasn't a lot of pain i didn't get mad no, it, at anyone if, he, if he's in a lot of pain you're the one that's grounding it for him yeah true no <laughs> that's true i was um i had a, a fallopian tube cyst we moved by um, by depth uh, the other day, and it was I was in pain like 24/7. It was crazy. 
but it was like I was like that many years ago too that was how my body was constant pain for 24 7 for many decades you because of my my, my severed back and um, yeah so you know I didn't get mad at anybody I didn't blow up on anyone but my dad had a few hours of pain and he just started going crazy <sighs> yeah I feel I, like I, yeah I think I think you're a bit hard on yourself start loving yourself more yeah 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 everyone but not yourself start loving yourself more. I yeah I think I it was what I did was it was an accident I I I wasn't sitting properly I was lounging somewhat so the my chi you know how powerful that chi is down in the root chakra area it's crazy okay that that chi it got blocked and created disturbance during the time I had my um, my period so it it gotten really out of hand there so I know you, I know you, you, you can release it with heavy breathing 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 but all your chakras help you you breathe um, into your it's like your chakras breathe in your root chakra I, that's, that's a five I, second breath and then it go right down yeah I try to do that too I, I tried breathing and many times I had to breathe um but the pain was just excruciating it was 10 out of 10 pain around the clock it just wouldn't stop I wouldn't have reached out and you know I normally if it's just you know a small area I could heal but that was I couldn't even heal myself that was just how bad it was could you block the pain you try you know, blocking it in the mind you know what I did though I one time I I got so sick of it I was before I contacted uh, Deb I was like I told I told my pain I said stop it stop it stop it now I literally told it to stop and it improved. It did. But then it, but it, but it, but it um, came back later. But it actually stopped. I was like, there's actually some comfort in there. It actually listens. It does. <laughs> oh, it can do. It can. It probably thought, hold on, why be stuck pain just because she's told us to? <laughs> <laughs> and Deb didn't do it. Rick did it. I just remember. I just see the. I see what's going on. But Rick. Oh, thank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Rick. <laughs> Lifesaver there. Oh, and you know what's really interesting is like after a day, um, like I I healed really really fast there. Um, I was pretty much after 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 24 hours, I was about 80 percent done, 80 percent healed. I could feel the difference, and um, you know normally for something like that, people could take up to three months to heal. And so my, um, what is that? After, like the, the next day after the healing, I'm going to get a little graphic here, but you know, so, something came out I've never seen like that before. And it was, I'm not really sure, but it was really long. And it's, you know, I thought it might be the uterine lining, but then the uterus lining is supposed to be broken up and something comes out like during, you know, the cycle. No, it but can that, come out in one large piece. That was like first time I saw something like that. And I think it was because um, while you were doing the um, surgery, it was scraping whatever that needs to scrape down there. So I'm pretty sure that um, you guys probably cleared up my my womb and, you know, those areas. Yeah, so it was it was it was good to see that it was good to see the actual physical um, um, healing evidence, like because you don't normally notice these things, you know. Um, that happened, and I know that it was because you guys healed me. So I, it came out. Good job. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really painful. I had a. It was very. Days. It was very large. <laughs> and you know what? I I didn't take any painkiller. I didn't see a doctor. I know nothing. I just sucked it up because I know eventually my body will fix it. But then I needed a little boost. So um, you know, need help. Yeah. Well, it's hard to heal. I, it's hard for me to heal myself, though. So. Yeah, true. I get, it. I get so, it. So you saw the hand holding, choking me, so to say. No, so I just saw a hand here. Nothing uh -huh. was choking you. I just saw a hand here. So, and, and Phil was dead. You know, it, it's probably because somebody's angry. My dad. Yeah. That's it, all. It, it's also, you, sometimes it could be that you might be blocking yourself. You might not be speaking the truth too much to your dad. Well, my dad, I tell him the truth. He won't listen. That could be why then. He's, he's blocking you with his hand. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Yeah. I just saw I worry about And it I think now. it's probably because of the emotions of all what's happening with your dad and what it, it's so 
it's so clear it just happened mm -hmm. and that's why i'm seeing it that's all and, and nobody's choking you it's just a hand here which means the truth it is says, you, know, yeah. you know you're not able to speak it he's not listening Mm -hmm. Nobody's choking you. I just saw a hand there. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Your, your, your energy, your aura field was a lot better in last week, by the way. Last time we did it. You, you, it's like your third eyes open more. So. <sighs> Release the, frust the frustration with your dad, though. You're going to have to heal yourself from the frustration with your dad so that hand mm -hmm. goes away because there's nothing. You're not going to change anything. You know that. Yeah. But that yeah. frustration still there. Mm -hmm. you're feeling it. I was just trying to regain my stamina after being exhausted for so many days of 24-7 pain. I can't even sleep front and back. They have the, the whole pelvic left front and back. Can't lay down, can't sit, can't walk, you know, but I had to go in and out of the house because I have relatives that came over from Toronto. Yeah. So we were out a lot and I, I you know, I went to buy grocery because he couldn't do it. My, I, that's when it's kind of started. I was carrying the heavy grocery. For um, for my dad and and I almost I nearly collapsed out in the street. That was just how how painful it was. I nearly fell. But you know what can I do? Someone's got to take care of my dad, right? I don't know. I know I know you have brothers. This one here, he is at home and he refused to take him to the hospital or take him to the doctor. And I and I'm just rebuilding my stamina, even though you know my energy is level from from before. That took a lot out of me. That um, that that cyst, it got swollen. It's probably it's likely because of my energy blockage at that time, and it was just too crazy. Oh no. Yeah. Well, let's see, Bobby. You got a card. Yeah. Two cards first. Oh. I'm okay. shuffling them. Um, I'm good now. Okay. So manifestation, self-acceptance. Okay. Manifestation, self-acceptance. Yeah, manifestation. Your plans may change, but you will see peace and happiness on your journey. And self-acceptance, I think I've already done that one. <laughs> you just gotta start loving yourself. Stop being so serious. There you go. Okay. Yeah. I'm also tired too for not sleeping for so long. So I'm just regaining the energy. And take a nap. Night, yeah, I will take a nap later. I didn't even eat. Um, because I was expected to leave with him and, and you know, I don't know what's going to happen later. Um, relatives are supposed to call. We're supposed to meet up later. Yeah, so here's Bob's there. Here's baby. I don't see anything in his throat. That's a good sign. I, I can see his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he, he still has a bit of runny nose, like the little allergy thing going on. He's in, he's in pretty good now. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. He's good. Yeah, he is good. He's not. He looks good. Yeah. For an old boy. You know my my sister and um, and her two daughters. They got COVID recently. It's it's. You know what's really bad. The, the teacher for the oldest daughter. She had COVID. But she went. But she continued to teach. It's it's unbelievable. Sell so, me a code. Hmm? <laughs> sell me a code. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a code. It is all I, we when we if someone if someone at work got it, he's still there. Yeah, we just ignore it on that. So 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 it was basically going to class and my 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 nieces and stuff like every every week someone from that class is the, the students are getting sick with COVID, literally. And it's not uh, a death sentence. It's it's, it's a it's a cold, a flu. Very, very bad flu. Yeah, we someone was someone had it the other day coughing and I said you would have been looked at last year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't see um, that issue as a um, anything like too serious. But um, it's just, it's just, it's just mind blowing how a teacher is sick and still goes to school, and then, and then the students. If that was three years ago, if that was three years ago. Would you be doing that? Yes, they would. It's an in the mind. There you mm -hmm. go. It's, yeah, it's, true we, enough. We, we, we've been set mindset that it's, it's dangerous to have a cold or flu mm -hmm. or whatever. No, it's not. Yeah. It's just our yeah. immune system working. Yeah, four years ago, right. It would have been yeah. no big deal. Yeah. If you were in a queue and someone had a cold, would you bother four years ago? No, you wouldn't. Yeah. So, so how, I, I hope I don't get it. So, so Bobby is clear of um, yeah. implants and stuff? Yeah. He's fine. He's good. Yep. Yeah, lately, lately the... Um, 
the energies hasn't been too bad, ne negative energy wise. Um, the only issue I have is mostly my dad, um, um, the family part, you know. But otherwise, I think the weather has been actually fine, better now. But it's been raining and had a bit of snow the other the uh, the other week. But yeah, definitely um, over here we are getting very interesting weather. The chemtrail seems less too. Today yeah, it was worse, so I've got the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe something is um, shifting in some ways uh, for the better uh, overall, slowly. Yeah, not not like fluffy clouds, aren't they? But they're not clouds. Well, they're, well, they're kind of different because you can see those lines, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah before they <laughs> before they dissolve into. The... I, I, I picked Bobby a card, but I got self acceptance against him. Oh no, why did Bobby have to be self accepting? He's so perfect. <laughs> he needs to start loving himself. <laughs> He's too busy loving me, that's why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that was great. Thank, Thank you. you guys. I love you guys. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, you Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. All right. The next one Julie Ann. She likes to know if she has a past life. Uh, or healing for sacral healing. Hi, Devin Rick. Uh, <laughs> it's me, Joan. <laughs> Julianne. Yeah, yeah. My 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 real name is uh, Julianne, but my my nickname is my family called me uh, Joan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're <don't> confusing me. <laughs> uh, uh, Ju Julianne. No. I'm sure you got a twin. <laughs> yeah, you have a twin uh, named Joan. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. started doing healing this year by doing mantras for your chakras, and yours is Vam, if you want your sac sacral chakra. So, show anyone volunteering here to start doing the art Vam for three lots. So that's Vam, and send it to Julianne's chakra shadow, uh, chakra. Any any volunteers? Or just me. What? To hum? You, you gotta do VAM, V A M, um, VAM. And that, that energy goes into Julianne's sacral shadow, her chakra. So, anyone that would wanna help me, or am I doing it on my own? I'll do it as well. Okay, anyone else? Come on. No, I don't know. He did it, Dad. I will. I will. Okay. Do it. One, one, okay, I'm free. I know I'll help. We can do it. I know I'll help too. <laughs> Yeah, one, two, three, so it's VAM. 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 And that's it. <laughs> I actually do healing on that now. So when I'm balancing <laughs> someone's body, I actually do all the mantras to all the chakras. Uh, so I go in a circle, like clockwise, and I do like um, but it's free for the crowd, but I like um, um, and then I go to the next one, and, I, and the patient says, are you umming? And I says, yeah. <laughs> so, so why did you want your sacral ch chakra? So sacral is your emotions, isn't it? Uh, I guess, yeah, I think... You have kidney issues, yeah, right? you're like, oh, back. Is it back or kidney issues? Because that's what you normally do when you've got problems in your sacral chakra. I, I just recently um, I'm feeling that uh, stabbing. It's it's I, I I feel like it's the collective that I'm I was feeling the uh, the sacral of the collect collective. So uh, and it's I think I, you know we need to help to heal that for the collective. Do some mantras on it, man. But I'll send I'll send this after some healing. But... Oh, thank you. Yeah, the pain in the neck as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so much. <it's> so hot. <laughs> Do you have any? Um, are you having any issues with your intestines? Like any stomach issues or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bill, okay. do you see um inside her intestines? I was looking at. Her past life so um, <laughs> I was trying to work out which planet it was from. She's got um um a parasite in her intestine. So it's a spiritual parasite by the way. Spiritual spiritual parasite. Not a any other any other stuff just that for her. 
you know, like you've got a big connection with Sirius, by the way. Have you ever been told that? Uh, Sirius? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. That's where Rick and I are from. I also think it's some trauma from Sirius as well, on that line. Wow. And we're, I'm really trying to release it. I'm getting pain in my shoulder now. All well, these little pain, niggling pains are from Sirius. Like a, a regret. It's a regret. Now let's go on to the parasite. That's not Sirius. That's actually linked to water. That's what I'm getting. Have you been near the river or sea lately? Recently, very recently. He lives in San Francisco. That, is he water there? Uh, Mount Shasta. We just came from Mount Shasta. Well, Mount Shasta is not water. The, the the river, I mean, in the uh, spring uh, headwaters. Yeah, we went to the headwaters. But you live in uh, San Francisco, right? Uh, the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, right it's, it's close to San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> we live in near San Francisco. You live around a lot of water. <laughs> no, no, no. A river my past okay. life is a. No, that, that, my past no, life is a mer mermaid. No, that's fine. Is that your past life? No. Yes. Yeah, a mermaid. Yes, she was. Getting loads of faces, ancient faces. You've got a, a very ancient connection with uh, some wise, ancient ones. It's like, like, yeah, definitely. I'm trying to work it out. Yeah, tell me about that too. You know them faces on that island? Island? Yeah, it's, it's like an island and it's got loads of faces going up. Hundreds of them in oh, concrete. Oh, oh. Yes. And, and they go 15 feet deeper. You've got a connection with that. Is that Easter oh, Island? Island? Is that Easter Island? Yeah. Or is it the... Um, you you yeah. helped it. You were part of the creating. You you were there when you were, when they were being made by, by, by the giants. There you go. <laughs> you were a giant. <laughs> wow. Some of our stupid white man. These are like demigods looking on there. I'll get rid of the parasite now. I keep on going. You talking about those? Yeah. That's they, were like de they were like demigods. Yeah, that's Easter Island. Oh. You know, it makes you wonder wow. if they are. It makes you really wonder, are they real? Have they been, uh, what, what do you call it? They were, and then they've been concreted. If you get what I mean. They're not droids, they're real beings. Oh. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I feel the connection. I was getting, I was getting them faces in the end. <laughs> I think they are just copies, aren't they? They're not the real thing about it. I'm setting, sending the uh, platinum rate into your, to meet up with your parasite. They're about 20 feet deep, they are. Yeah. yeah. Deeper than the grass. But I, Deb, I think they're real. I think they've been solidified, it solidified or something like that, whatever they do. I think technology made them turn to rock. Right. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> How do you feel, Julia? That's good. I, I feel so hot now. <laughs> and my, 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 my heart is pulsating, like, you know. <laughs> That's good. So good. Thank you. Say stop. Stop. Oh, I'm doing another one. I'm leaving that one out. Self acceptance. You're too hard on yourself. <laughs> I'll give you two <laughs> more cards. So, say stop. Stop. So you got self acceptance third time I picked it out and trust and surrender and release so <laughs> mm -hmm. wow it's good. surrender and release <laughs> it's just like learning on, learn, yeah learning from your lessons as well isn't it mm -hmm. and holding yeah. on to the past that car them two are about the same actually just gotta let your past go and go forward yeah so what are you doing at the moment did you say yeah is that a yes answer <laughs> Parasite's gone anyway. Is, is it going to be gone? <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. How, how is that? I, I'm getting that. Hmm? How do I get that a spiritual parasite? Did you have a fall or injury recently in the last 12 months? Hmm. Did you hurt yourself? Hmm? Uh, maybe I bumped myself to something. <laughs> what happens if you're weak or a field or if you had a bump or anything? Oh, uh, actually, I, get, I just, just got a COVID. I mean, uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, so you got COVID. But I tested it like a home kit one, but I didn't, uh, you know, test anything outside. Mm. But I just feel myself. If you feel, if you're very weak energy wise, you can, these parasites are invisible all around us, can come on and they just want to 
they go into the third party body to feed. Yeah. Normally, when you have a fever, you get rid of them because your body is automatically burning them out. That's why we have fevers. It's not just to cure the the bugs, the real the bugs that we see. It's also to kill the sp spiritual ones as well. Yeah, that, that's probably. I get it. Well, yes. Thank you. Well, You're welcome. You can definitely. Thank you, Phil. You're welcome. Okay. Next one, we have Wendy Napolitano. She likes body scan. Hi. Hi, Wendy. Hello. I spoke to you for what? You're on mute. Can't hear. It's okay. I, I understand. Oh, hey. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, no, I've, I've been busy, but it's interesting because each time you've gone through to do healing for people, I can feel the energy like coming and going and clearing. So that's really fun. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times other people, everyone's getting the energy in a way. It's not difficult yeah. to direct. Yeah, yeah. You've been feeling ill, Wendy? Yes, a lot. I've been feeling exhausted. I, as a matter of fact, I keep thinking that, like you said, with parasites, that there's something that's been taking my energy. And so I'm always like doing clearing with violet flame and diamond white light and, um, you know, putting protection around me. But nonetheless, I, I feel like there's something that's something, yeah, you, I don't know. You would, be, you would be right. And I keep feeling this stabbing on my hip, um, but it changes. So I feel like it's maybe one of those octopuses that moves around or, yeah, that's kind of my intuition. You have, um... I can feel something in your, in your front on the left side, maybe. I can paint that. Yeah, on the left side. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's you get also that, got, yeah. She's got some parasites in her um, in her intestines and also in her stomach. And she's got, on her lower spine, she's got... I, I was just wondering, Wendy, because you went with... Uh, you went to the same place as Julie, Julianne, didn't you? And I wonder yeah, if we were. Had, yep. Up Possibly. I mean, we were in the Sacramento headwaters and also up at Castle Lake. Um, and we were doing a lot of clearing and healing. So, and then of course, you know, we're always doing collective energy works too. So sometimes when you're transmuting, I, you know, you pull them into yourself and typically we're working to clear them out. But, you know, there's those times, I guess there's just so damn we're, many of them. <laughs> we're only human. <laughs> Right? Exactly. And, and the other thing is these sacred places have been used for both sides, haven't they? In the past, they've been used for good and they've also been used for bad as well. Right. So you just right. don't know what you take on sometimes. Uh, it's like, yeah, Stonehenge, that was very, a lot of sac sacrifices there. Is that all? Yeah, yesterday I, I slept for like, I took a meditation and it took me out for four hours. But, um, but I've been just waking up oh yeah who feel that one <laughs> um but yeah the exhaustion has just been i'm like all right something is taking my energy I, there's no way i should be this exhausted but you know what that was happening even before i went to shasta so yeah sometimes if you've got summer in you can bring all the things in get what i mean oh you know what that's that's my mother can you do a protection or maybe when you're done whatever you're doing <laughs> i mean seriously like yeah I, it's kind of yeah, like oh, lily with oh old people you wonder why yes. they live so old it's because they pe pinching everyone's energy <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> what, what you can do wendy you can bring in the 22nd chakra i think i mentioned it platinum platinum and ray yes uh and that's christ consciousness and that that will and that's from 5d so that will okay help you yeah. i will start doing that <laughs> She has something sticking into her back, right in the middle of her back. Yeah, I feel that. It looks like it looks like a crystal, but it's disguised as one. It's like somebody's taking it and stabbing you in the back. It could be an attachment. Yep. You know, like a link up attachment. So when they need some energy, they just fill it yep. up, if you get what I mean. Yep, I do know what you mean. And I feel like I have that left tip, right hip, back, and sometimes in the neck, but the neck usually one is I can the neck one is is from you doing this with your phone. Yeah. Okay. That's you. <laughs> yeah. A actually, that is right. Everybody and who has a phone and you're down like this, your neck problem yeah. is from that. I'm just letting y'all know. Yeah. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I was doing I this I was, for a while. Yeah. Lay, yeah. Just lay in bed and, and do it this give way. Give your neck a break. Lay down and do it this way. <laughs> yeah. 
Next year we going. Cool. Oh, and actually, my thumb. What's wrong with my thumb? <laughs> yeah, that is. Why that is my is thumb so big? <laughs> <laughs> You're only working out your thumb. Try this. <laughs> Try my finger. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I never use my phone, unless we're in the car for a long trip. Never. I only use the computer because I know that I'll have that problem with my neck. You know, I'm usually, it's interesting. While I'm at work, I'm on my computer and, you know, like just about like how I am right now. Um, and then when I'm on my phone, I'll pick it up and look at it this way. But when I'm on my iPad at night, sometimes I am, I've got that like yeah. downward angle thing. Yeah. yeah. And I felt it as soon as I tilted my head mm -hmm. down. You're doing it. <laughs> we're all willingly doing this. Yeah, you got to be careful yeah. of that neck. We're all going to walk around with this big lump back there. You feel that energy, Wendy? Yeah, very soothing. So just, I mean, I had the heat almost this soon as. When it's all gone, because you got to send some energy all over, because your hips, your hips are showing that you need some energy to your hips. Yeah. Yeah, as soon as I stand up, it's almost like. It's almost like I'm lifting something heavy every day. And, and when I go to stand up, I'm like, Ugh. like every, just everything aches. Like my whole back is just like exhausted. And then my hips hurt and, and I'm very active and physical. And so there's no reason that yeah. that's, so I'll be like hard to walk. And I'm like, what is happening right now? So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of heat going on for sure. And yeah, the being that's been uh, linked to that back, uh, that back, my uh, attachment has now been removed, so. I've never seen one like that before. That was the first where time Where was seen. that coming from? Can you tell where that came from? I, I know where it came from. It, it's, uh, you do? It's multi-dimensional being <laughs> of the dark side. <laughs> yes, very dark. Ah, uh, yes, I, I get your meaning. It had its head removed. I know we're supposed to send into the source and because their consciousness will be reborn. But uh, I just write to me. Hang on, I'm gonna just stand up. Oh yeah. Usually when I stand up, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was in battle gear as well. This it was all like in battle gear. That's quite strange. Yeah. So you had you you had parasites and you also these are separate things, by the way. They not they don't yeah. belong to together. So. Right, that's what I was getting. I was getting that I had parasites going on and I was getting that I was having something connect to me and so I would feel it and then I'd be like, disconnect, you know? So I would like tell it to go away. Um, they're not connected, like, let... they're not connected, but they are connected because the parasites weaken your aura field so they can put the thing through the aura field. Oh. So get How's my aura field? I'll build it up in a minute. So okay. they've weakened your energy, your aura field, they've put this other thing to put the attachment to take your soul power to say and that's why you're tired every moment. That's why you're tired all the time. Yeah. Interesting. Exhausted. But you know, I know I'm a hell of a power source, so I'm sure they're like, woo! Here's the party. Let's get it started. <laughs> Send them a bill. Right? Man, they got a they owe me a castle. <laughs> yeah, the back is starting to feel better in the center where that's like right in the center. And then I was feeling weakness in my shoulders and I was like, okay, what is happening with that? And then I figured that that was probably my mother with like shoulder burden kind of stuff, like physical 3D stuff that I'm dealing that, with. That, that could be stress of your mother. So it might be your stress from your, because yeah. your mum's giving you stress and it's, you're holding onto it and it's going into the shoulder. Yeah, that makes sense. And then just like Lily said, um, she keeps bringing up stuff. She keeps, I'm like done with karma and all, to my knowledge, with my brothers and sisters, she keeps bringing that shit up. And I'm like, just stop talking to me about it. Like, I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to think about it again. It's over, it's done. And then I have to clear and let it go again. So, <sighs> oh, that felt good just to say that. <laughs> and now I'm feeling something happening in my stomach. Is that just the energy moving? Yes. Uh, yeah. The also. healing, uh, all okay. the healing's going on. Yeah, yeah, aura feels being upgraded. Well, not upgraded. It's just being boosted. Right? Boosted, yeah. I, I, I hear you. You got energy going from the top of your head down to. I was just gonna say I'm feeling it on the top of my head right now. <laughs> and all the way down. Do you know I'm doing that as well. I see getting double up. 
you're getting diamond energy off that and you're getting platinum off me. Yeah. Yeah, and I do work with the diamond energy. And I um, unicorns usually help me with diamond energy too. The diamond energy is creator from Rick. So it's all the white oh, light. Oh, beautiful. White diamond Thank light. You. Thank you, Rick. Uh, I what I said, platinum's track function. Oh, good. And now I'm getting a heart racing. Very nice. I need a tingle through my leg too. Very fun. And lots of focus on my back end. Ooh, my heart too. Thank you, Source. So all this energy you, stays Thank for you. seven days from both of us, from all three of us. So it all stay with you for a week. And then I'll see where I'm at and uh, start to build up again. And it just gets absorbed in. Beautiful. And say stop. Um, oh, stop. And you know what? I'm wondering if you would mind looking at my grandsons. They both had um, lollipops. And the littlest one is ill a lot. So young. Yeah. It's, I've tried to have that conversation. I've tried to have that conversation. Um, Do you want to just carry on? I'm just connecting. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've tried to have that it. conversation. Yeah, yeah. Mom and dad too. And she's expecting a, a new little one. Oh, now you feel the other energy that just stepped in the room. <laughs> oh gosh, here we go. He's Wendy. Yeah. Yes. I've done, we've done that now. The debate, what I will is the baby because there's a lot of gunk there. Um, yeah, he's got a lot of like congestion in his lungs and stuff. It's been like, happening like that on and off for the, like the last year. He's just a, let's see. Okay, so a year, about a year and a half now. Yeah. But Both he's he's had that on and off for the last year, and I think it's been sent that first. How many is he, have they only had one each? Yeah. It's I, I they may have had the boost. They may have had uh, boost. Does that mean they've had two? booster seats? Booster seats. Yeah. No, they had three then. Yeah. That's very well. Yeah. Okay. So, cats, and then here's. Cat. Hmm? Oh, I'll, oh, did you get one? Yeah. What's that? I can't see it. Wait, let me switch. I thought you were psychic. <laughs> Trust and surrender and release. So you know what surrender yeah. and release. Stop hanging on to any worries, especially yeah. grandchildren through I suppose. Trust. Right. Uh, just learn from your lessons. That's all. It's just learn from your lessons and as you go along. Yeah. Okay. And here's puppy dog. This is Cosmo. <laughs> Tell me if you need him here in person because I can have him come in. Uh, no, okay. I can. Uh, I can just leave him. Leave him on the screen a little bit. Oh, yes, I will do that. Looks like a sergeant major. <laughs> <laughs> a little pirate costume. <laughs> What's his name? Cosmo. Oh, Cosmo. I was going to call him Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> he had a little ache on his neck. You probably know, don't notice, but I, I, it just came through to me. What's on his neck? A little ache. Oh, an ache. Yeah. Um, you probably not notice. Yeah, so, no, yeah, I, I haven't. Because dogs don't speak, that's the problem. Right. No, he hasn't. He hasn't said. He hasn't said I, that. I mean, I'm pretty. Yeah, no, he hasn't. Said. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times he kind of. Has like, he told you he's having trouble urinating? Um, no, he hasn't said that either. He just when I whenever I'm doing like healing work or whatever, when I'm like clearing my own stuff, he will come and like lay down on me. Like like if I'm spread out and I'm doing like a meditation and I'm doing like clearing and energy work, he will come and literally like lay on top of me with his head on my chest and his legs down by my thigh. So like sprawled out and I'm like, what are you doing? And then I'll realize that he's there for healing. So I'll do purposefully, you know, I'll send him, um, usually I'm sending him green ray and then I'll, um, I'll put the violet flame with him. And then, um, you know, I haven't been doing the diamond ray with him, but, um, but I also um, will then send him you know love of course i'll do give him some light language and then i'll put um like a pink bubble around him so i'll shield him and then i'll put a pink bubble like put bubbles of love inside his his shielding so um but at the same time he's been battling this some kind of a uh, infection and so we just started giving him um it, what i was picking up as well he's got like he has like, problems with headaches if you ever heal him and you get an headache you might have a chance you could transfer it over i suppose ah but, I was getting, but that might be what the infection is giving him a headache. Or it might be yeah. the medicine. It's the medicine. Because he just, the medicine, he's just started taking um, for allergy medicine. And then they j 
just like yesterday was the first day and then today we gave it to him again because they said he's got um he needed an antibiotic because of the skin thing that's happening all across his stomach and of course i'm just like what is happening like why is my healing work not like working with this dog so i don't know i just you know uh, i'm not a dog healer uh, my that's... husband says <laughs> i that, am but... no that's because you were run down because i was run down okay but he, yeah, he's, yeah. He keep, his medicine's giving him a bit of an headache. So he might be able to like, just take the transfer it over. Okay, I'll do that for him. And it, because you don't own that energy, you can ground it easily. Because it's not okay. part of your uniform. It can't anchor onto you. What, what, what's his neck hurting from? Is that being when he gets lifted maybe from his harness sometimes? I don't, I don't, I, don't, I can't. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't know. I don't connect. I, don't, I just. I'm, I see. I'm okay. just saying what I can feel on me, buddy. Uh, <laughs> you can do the conclusion. I don't. I don't speak dog. So. <laughs> well, usually, I should. yeah, he usually will come over and like telepathically like give me messages, and I'll I hear him. I don't know how to explain it. I don't hear him audibly. I hear him in my mind, like what he's wanting. But usually, it's food related, walk related. You know, play related. I, I, kind of I stuff, would say so. it's all related to his medicine. His medicine, yeah. okay. It's it's the, you know, it's the. What and it I'm feeling that as well. But I've just uh. shifted a lot because I've got it. I've got the headache. I've got the pain in the neck. So I've took it off. Oh, anyway. now I feel like sick to my stomach. Like something just grabbed my stomach. <sighs> if you want more healing, you, you'll have to have it next. <laughs> you have to book it. <laughs> We've already done you. <laughs> Yeah, you'll have to. I'll have it's to a shift. It's a sh shift of the energies that you've had. It's a vacuum. Yeah, it's got to go. It's got to go somewhere, right? So well, we took some out, so you've got to replace it with uh, love and light, okay. all the other energies. Light and platinum ring. And it's card music. Play some music to it. Okay. Yeah, I do that a lot. Well, thank you, guys. I love you so much. You're he'll be is... he'll be fine, but um. And he Thank you. Little, he had a little infection in his urinary tract. Too. Uh, well, the the, the antibiotics we just started will help clear that up for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. The healing lab. Yeah, the healing done. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Love you. Love you too. Love you. All right. All right. The next one is Julian. Hello. Hi. Julian. Hello. Hi. Hi. So the good news is my stomach's not black and bleeding and. I'm not dying anymore. It all cleared up and that sucked, but I did it. Um, I'm just asking for assistance today with my ears. I hear it's tentacles day or uh, jellyfish day or whatever. It's octopus day. Octopus, okay. So this is probably in the, fa in the same family, I don't know. Um, probably the last part of my healing with all this head shit is the ears, but um, like both of them feel like something's been up for a long time. Like either implant or whatever, um, something outer space fungally. But it I have, be, there yeah, has it, really been um, tentacle type things coming through. It, and it, I'm could be, it could be frequency. You might be able to use frequencies. No, well, she's got, like, no, she's got something in there. There's something there's, in there. Um, so the ears I'll show you. And then there's also been like um, something on the back of my arm that feels like it's uh, taking a needle and numbing my arm. I got half of it removed, but if you could check that, but the ears first. But um, I could just kind of show you the, I don't know if you could see right here. Yeah. And then like, do you want, you want to keep looking? No, you can, you can move that back. Yeah, it's, it's an octopus. He's inside, he's up in here. You feel him up in here? Um, Kind of like behind the eyes. Yeah. Like I, I but, pulled shit out and it felt like behind the eyes. Yes, but he's up in here. Okay. He can make him. He can shrink down to nothing, and then he just makes himself. Yeah, yeah he's good. Yeah, he he's really good at this. He's impressive. Yeah. I'm just fixing your shoulders now. I'll carry on. Thank you. He's fearless. He's well. It it gave birth to a smaller one on the other side. The yeah. Other Motherfuckers. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot with that name. Is that the name you named it? The name's just super taken. Mother something. I, I didn't get the other word. <laughs> Motherfucker. She said Motherfucker. <laughs> I, I I nearly got a six month ban doing my judo competition for telling saying that to a referee. It's it's a it's a fuck. <laughs> not it's not a, it's a fuck. It sounds like a fart. <laughs> but 
<laughs> in judo, you, you can't tell referees that. You can't say to a referee in martial art competitions, he's one of them. It's like a tart. <laughs> Why does it feel so good to make that name in vain? Why? Why does the profane feel so good? I don't know. It does, though. <laughs> it does. It does. It, it, when you whisper it, it's nothing. It's when you say it with meaning. <laughs> and there's so many meanings. You can say it so many special ways. Or unlawful <laughs> carnal knowledge. Mm hmm. It's all a trick, too. Like, don't say this word, word that feels super good to say. Good luck. Mm -hmm. It's like, see you next Tuesday doesn't mean anything in Europe. But boy, it's a foul <laughs> word in the United States. Everybody goes, <laughs> You said that. Word. The best is when I said it in front of my parents, and they've said it all my life, every day. And my dad was like, "Where did you learn that word?" <laughs> I'm like, "From you." <laughs> He's like, "That's disgusting. You're swearing. All you do is swear." I could never say that word. It's such a bad word. You feel the energy, Jeremy? Something? Just, did you just touch my butt? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's going, he's going to the location. I think you need your mind cleansing. I do. Yeah. I do. It's all felt up. Too many tentacles sticking everywhere. But not the right kind. Yeah. I actually don't swear unless I'm in the car. Lies. It's the only time I really swear in the car. He's such a liar. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shelby should be better now. Is this all leading me to like be an MMA fighter? Because <laughs> I would like to beat shit up now. Is, it, is that my calling? Squid beater? <laughs> Give me a tickle in my throat. How's oh, your arm? It's your arm. That's my arm. My what? Your arm. arm. Your arm. This part? Yeah. Maybe. I can't tell yet. We'll say yes. If you can't feel it, then it is. <laughs> a little, yeah, just, yeah, a little like here, you know. I have a special pain tolerance now. Thanks to all the squids. But maybe we'll all have calamari tonight. You squid squidworks coming out anyway. <laughs> no, they're oh, not I squids. That's where you go away. Hmm? They're not squids. So should that I pour like... Difference How do you it's kill like a squid? Salt? Fish. Use them as bait. For what? Sharks? <laughs> Anything you want. What, what do you eat squid though? Lots so, of things. Mahi so mahi. <laughs> we see you squid when we fish in the ocean. Yeah. But the, the, these are octopus, not squid. Mm. Where's the eye? It's gone. We'll just say it's gone. They're there. I think it's gone. I can hear it. I hear it over there. And then did you check the other ear? I got rid of both. Both of them? Yeah, because yeah, I always hear a radio frequency in this one, like, pretty well. I could probably record it, but... Okay. Thank you. And, um, I made a crystal ball. Check it out. It says the future. <laughs> No, that's current. That's that's present. Not my future. I'm gonna. I want one that says beautiful. Okay. I'm, I'm just sending you, you some I vibe to get rid of them swear words out here. Thank you. Are they like? <laughs> are they from outer space or? <clears throat> are they from like Medusa or something? Or is it a fake Medusa? <laughs> what? They're not from swear here. swear words out. From They're not from here. They're from swearing. Oh crap. Feel that? That is powerful. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Say stop. You tired? I, I thought stop, you were stop. the best there was. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm replenishing it now. I'm yeah, you need to do some study. Yeah. Okay, should I study next? And this isn't swear word study. This is looking for new skills on your journey. More? Okay. Yeah, not new swear words, but new skills. Okay, I did just get those forks. I'm excited about those. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, you show them. You, next time you'll have to play them for us. Yeah, well, do you can, think you, I... can you can you play them now? Um, well, yeah, I, you know, bang them pretty hard. Uh, pretty much working on the aura field around here, but um, and they're tuning folks, aren't they? Yeah, the solfeggio, all nine. Yeah, so good. watch out, I'm gonna be stabbing all the squids. Well, that study it means you got to study how to use them properly. That's what. It yeah, that's why I'm not gonna play them yet because. Wow, they're expensive. Yes, money well spent. I was look. I was looking. I was looking at some. I was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Um, do you think I can put like when I learn about them, I can play them on the radio secretly and heal everybody? Yeah. Okay. You can try try it out on one of our events. Learn. Future, yeah, learn. I'll learn how to use some so you can do some here to do some healing. Yeah. Yeah. You want to see them? 
Yeah. Okay, hold on one sec. I want some. They're really <laughs> pricey. They're so pricey. I want to make them and sell them. Go ahead, Nico. <laughs> nice. The 369 Tesla ones, too. So I'll invent something cool. Everybody likes the black ones so far. I want to do it. I like them all. Yeah, I'm really excited. And then it was. How much did that now. set cost you? It was 80. Um, but 80? I've been, yeah, I've been stocking these for a while online, and um, they were. It, Lo they usually are like 140 but they were like lowest price ever so i got them and then they came like two days i like had some kind of dream about something important i thought they were a lot more than 80 dollars i got lucky like yeah so. wow you sure did so i scooped them up because my birthday is december 5th so i figure that's cool. wow because i would i want to set where did you get them on amazon mm -hmm. yeah these ones i think they're from india wow I, I like them a lot they feel good and then what they say like when you wave them around um if you if there's a, like a stop in the frequency there's like could be like holes in the aura and you just kind of wave them around more and then um the 369 tesla i believe is these three so because i was looking at them last year and they were like two three hundred dollars each yeah um when the time's right i get lucky and get deals because wow. there was a couple spiritual books i was looking at that were like a thousand and then I had tried to get them for like a year and then all of a sudden I, they were mailed to me for like 1999 or something. Wow. So when the time is right, it's right. But yeah. Yeah, I'm going to manifest it then. Right? Yep. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's move Thank you on. so much. Thanks, darling. Appreciate all of you. Okay. The next one is Wilma. Wilma. I missed you oh. when you last weekend. Oh, I was, I was, I was there last week, but then I had to suddenly go because, uh, yeah, something came up. Oh. I'm so glad to see you today. Yeah, well, I've been, I've joined the meeting at the beginning, but I was just sort of laying because I, it was 5.30 in yes, the morning. Yes, it was 5.30 so in the morning. It took me two hours to be able to open my eyes. <laughs> so that's when I came on camera. <laughs> oh, good. So let's see, you need a scan and some healing? Yes, please. Goodness, your body, it seems like it's one big bruise. Is it from moving? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been very, very, very active. My body's a bit like, hey, girl, what the hell are you doing to me? Wow. Um, <laughs> it, I, it's like the whole body feels like, ouch. <laughs> like, it's like, That's about ow. right. That, that about describes it. <laughs> ow. 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 I've never had a body go to me like, owie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor thing. In the back of your neck. Yeah. I'm getting that back of my neck. Back of your neck. Oh. You're gonna I'm feel, also getting... You're going to feel heat and a vibration through from head to toe because you need a big massage. I think you're also keeping a bit of stress in there. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she just sold everything and moved. That would be from the movie. That would yeah. be. Yeah. And it was emotional because it was your lifetime home, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I, I grew up there and then um, I went back there uh, six years ago to look after my dad. I know. This was a, I could just feel there it. There it was, was an emotional a, attachment. <laughs> yes, it was an emotional, uh, it's been a very emotional time for you, but your whole body is feeling like <clears throat> it, it's tense and then it relaxes, it's tense. Mm -hmm. And then this whole thing was just, it, it, it's almost like you're black and blue everywhere inside and outside that sounds pretty right <laughs> yes just do some breathing and let's let this wash over you and all the healing take over oh i see all your angels and guides all around you <clears throat> there there's just sending all this loving energy towards you as this healing energy is inside and outside they're sending this powerful love energy relax and just breathe this in Release it all. It's time to let it all go. Because this is all a new chapter for you. Everything, let it go. Release it all. Oh my goodness, your dad's here. Of course he is. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling. He's so happy that yeah. you're here. He's so happy that all of it is done. Yeah. He said, my daughter, I love you. I never, I never meant to leave you the burden of all of that. It wasn't a burden. He feels like it was. 
but I'm proud and I'm happy that it's all done. And now move on. Be I'm happy. Done. Be happy. I'm with yeah. you. I'm proud. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Oh, no, I love you so much. God, love you too. And he wants to make sure you feel this energy, this loving energy for him, from him. He's here to watch and cheer you on from that side. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, this game's almost over. There's many on the other side cheering us on. All right, so now this energy's going to heat up some more in your body, healing you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, my cheeks are already heating up my face. I'm getting a from headache. My friend. You feel this energy from your feet going up your leg, your knees. Well, I'm actually taking your stress away, and I'm trying to create love energy into it because it's, oh, thanks, it's that much stress from the back. I never realized I was holding so much stress. Yeah. That's the pain in the neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've had a lot of that. I just assumed it was all the moving. No. <clears throat> it was being strong when you don't have to anymore because it's all done. <sighs> <laughs> That's it, let it go. <laughs> Feel this loving energy. It's okay. It's all love. It's all love. You're not alone. You may think you are, but you're not. Never. You've got about 30 energies in the room around you right now, between angels, archangels, and in masters. Just be <laughs> your guides. Just feel their energy surrounding you and loving you. Feel the energy in your body. I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do your aches and pains feel? Oh, I don't actually feel the aches and pains so much. Um, not when I'm resting, like I'm just sort of laying down here yeah. now. The, the reason for the emotions, yeah. the reason is because we took the stress out, it becomes a vacuum of a different energy, so it can be quite emotional at the time. So then you fill it up with love and light. Yes, I felt the love, and that usually brings out the emotion. Yeah. Uh, especially when you said all, I had all those angels and my guides and, um, Ascended masters and the archangels and my dad and like just um, just brings up so much emotion for me because I love them all so much. Oh, and and they, they, they love, love you too. And I can't I, I can't help but feel their energy. I know you felt it. There's yeah, and they they send it. I mean, you're not alone. I mean, there's just they're all around you. And your dad, your dad surprised me because I could feel his energy and he started talking. And I was like, wow. <laughs> He was I remember, pretty powerful. I remember yeah. him. I he was pretty powerful when he was in the physical. <laughs> yes. I remember him and that feel his energy. And is, is, I'm so thankful that yeah. uh, he came through today. Yeah, me too. Well, he was pretty spectacular in this flesh anyway, because he was pretty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, his he energy was. was. He, he was. He was. His energy was pretty powerful then. And to have him yeah. in, the, in the spiritual realm. And it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> yep, yep. I feel pretty proud to. to yeah. Be his, to well, him. and he's he's like, well, I'm cheering you on here. I'm right here. <laughs> I know he is. <laughs> he's not far. He's right. I mean, he's like right next to you. <laughs> I know. I usually right feel there. him on my left shoulder. Yeah. I just feel him on my left shoulder now. <laughs> yeah. He's he didn't go That's far. He's there, and he definitely is helping you uh, from that side. He's not I know. far. I know. I know, and, and I know, you know, the message was that I'm not alone, and I know that, but, you know, it doesn't stop me from feeling lonely at times. Of course, of course, of course. And, and I, you know, he wants you to know, and your guides, just quiet and trust the messages and listen for them because you can. Everybody block the, the talent that you have. We all can channel everyone. That's your birthright. Yeah, I'm working on it. It's It sounds like your voice but it's the messages from them. It's the trust yes. that you're getting these messages. You just have to trust yeah. what you're hearing in your head is messages yes. from them. Yes, 
Can I just share a little story, interestingly? Like when I moved here, I felt because I was being called here and I felt very strongly called by the mountains. And um, and then I was in a group, actually was in uh, one of Wendy Napolitano's groups. It was a, a, a dragon channeling. And um, hang on, I need to plug my phone in. I'm about to lose charge. And I was um, given the message that there was a dragon in the mountains and that's what had called me. And uh, that resonated. And I've since had a further message, which was that the dragon was uh, trapped in the mountains um, for some reason. Something had happened many, 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 I don't know, eons or whatever ago. And it was trapped, uh, it was trapped in the mountains. And so I took, I went on a little excursion with my dragons and uh, I took my dragon and we, we flew over the mountains and he had these like laser beams coming out of his eyes and he, he, he opened like a fissure in, in the top of the mountains. And, and they cracked open and the dragon that was trapped inside was released. And when he was released, oh man, he was huge. And he was a rainbow dragon, which was so apt for this time that we're going through at the moment as well. But you know, I thought my dragon was pretty damn big, but like he was just, uh, this other thing just made him look minuscule. Um, and it was interesting because since, that, since, the, since I did that a couple of days ago, I haven't felt that strong pull from the mountains. Like, I mean, I still feel mountain energy and, and I'm drawn to them, but that, that real intensity that I had, that, that intense connection I felt with the mountains seems to have subsided uh, since the dragon was released. So I thought that was quite interesting. I don't know if he's disappeared or gone off somewhere or, or what now. Well, yeah. your, your, your job was to release it. That's, That's what I believed, doing. yes. I thought you would be getting you do some light language to them. So. But you might have done you might. I thought you'd do some light language as well. Well, I, I nearly to... did. Um, <laughs> hang on, give me a sec. Oh, gratitude. Oh, God. I've been released to Guinea and I can fulfill my own purpose now. Can I show much gratitude to him, to you, my human? Oh, 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 that's why I haven't felt him. <laughs> that makes sense. He just, oh, wow. he just said much gratitude for releasing me. Yeah. And I'm just so happy because, you know, it just brings me so much joy when the Creator can use me as his tool to do good work. <laughs> it means so much to me. <sighs> you do a lot of good things. You help people and you don't even know it. You want two cards, by the way? Uh, yes, lovely, thank you. I, I think, as a guest, you should get spiritual girl from guardian angels, but you might, I don't know. So just say stop. I like guessing. <laughs> stop. No, you didn't. <laughs> proof, <laughs> proof it's not a fiddle. Now it's time to playfulness and celebration. That's beautiful. That's right. Right? Yes, yeah? that's right. Uh, now have fun and celebrate for what's happening. I'm changing. Yeah. And celebration is also changes in your life becoming. Yes. I think it's spiritual growth. That's why I said spiritual growth. But the cards yep, I agree. About, what do you call it? About, rebelled against what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, uh, you look great. Uh, good. Oh, thank you very much, Bill. Well, thanks, Deb. Thanks, you thanks, are welcome. welcome. You're welcome. Okay, Lily? I don't have any list anymore. Is uh, there's one that Wendy wants to do some light language? Go on, you can. <laughs> and uh, Julie wants to heal me and Deb. So, <laughs> so Wendy, do you want to give us some light language healing? Okay. Yes, I would love to. 
Mm. Ooh, I'm gonna bring in this wind, the winds of change. <laughs> oh gosh, that was fun. Um, so the winds brought the energy in and they were saying that they were going to help you, not just you, but whoever's listening, uh, going to help you with moving the energies because there's been so much dense, heavy energies that have been around. And so they're going to help you with moving those energies. And then the fairies popped in at the at the end there with their doo 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 just to um, raise everybody's vibration. <laughs> All right, yeah, blessings to you guys. Thank you, Randy. Yeah. I wish it was busy that where you are. <laughs> <laughs> Would you still do it as loud? You know what? Probably yes. <laughs> Plus, I have my headset on, so it's for like standing right here. So, but you know what? Sometimes the light language just comes in really loud when it's supposed to be powerful. Sometimes they just have me project. So, um, so yeah. Sorry if it was too loud on your earphones. <laughs> no, it's great. Thank you. Bro. All right, blessings. Love you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. I have goosebumps. <laughs> it was very nice. And there is one last one. Jillian Spooner would like to have a scan. Okay. Hello, Jillian. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm just struggling now. I'm turning my camera on. Can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. Yeah, I just can't seem to turn it on. It's just giving me the option for the microphone. Oh. Uh, I've done my usual. I've been to the hospital. <laughs> um, where can I find it? Is it a, a phone or is it a computer? Yeah, I'm on my phone. And usually it's okay. Um, let me find it. Did you turn the? Did you click the right button when you signed in? Yeah, I think so. Go go back out and come back in. Yes, I tried it. Thank you. Who wanted to heal us? Uh, there's another Susan's wants a scan and a review of last week's by the way. Okay. Susan. Susan. Hi guys. It's just me wanting to have you guys review last week's work. And just make sure I was talking to someone that was suicidal and I really I felt like my balloon energy goes zip afterwards. So I I don't know if something jumped on me. But I thought that maybe if you could take a look. Liam, go go back to grandma. I'm on the phone, sweetheart. Thank you. Sorry, I have a five-year-old following me. So here's my face. She's um, she's got one of those. Um, it's not a squid, whatever I call it. Mm -hmm. Octopus on her. Jillian, we'll just do you in five minutes. Is that okay. We yes. can see you now. We can see you. Okay. Um, it's on the back of her neck. Did you feel something on the back of your neck? Oh yeah, for sure. I was trying to ground it, but nothing seemed to help. You feel it getting taken out. Actually, I do. It feels like it was at the base of my throat area. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It was like it almost like it was weird. It almost had it almost had it touched my throat. Yeah. Chocolate. Well, it it can open and close up. It's like it's an octopus. Oh my God! Do you think that came from the person that was suicidal? It could be. Yeah, I've got to tell you. Prior to that, I was I couldn't say how great I was going. It was going amazing. Did that person commit suicide? No, no, but they were, no, because I had a conversation and said, listen, you're transferring, that, that, your child will have to carry your burden. Yeah. And if you no, love your children, you wouldn't do that, you know? When people say they're going to commit suicide, they usually don't tell people they're going to commit suicide. They just do it if they're really serious. Well, she already said she had the tools to do it. Sometimes it's I was not. Like, oh my God. Sometimes it's a beings that are around them that are giving uh, these mind mind things and you're the annoyance to them because you persuaded them not to so now they've decided 
to go for you. <laughs> so. Oh, that it that sounds about right because prior to that, especially I yeah, sounds about right. When you say to that, you're like, yeah. Yeah, you know, there was enough of her straight thinking knowing that she wasn't gonna commit suicide. Yeah, if somebody's gonna commit suicide, if they really truly wanna commit suicide, they don't tell somebody they're gonna do it. They just do it. It was another, you know, light worker that just, you know, sometimes it, I know that this work can be really hard on people, not for the faint at heart. That is correct. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> so that's been taken out and the beings that were controlling it have been taken out as well. Thank you, Philip. And now we're just healing, just healing, healing the damage it caused. Do you remember last week you guys, um, you guys worked on that that being that had a that had a hex on me yeah. in my family line. Does that look like everything's cleared? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It, honestly, last week was like it, I felt like I was on like a <laughs> like I was at a rodeo. There's so much energy going on. Like I was like. We got everything. I don't know what's happening. There's a lot of energy hitting, coming down, and it's going to continue. It's not going to stop because it's trying. It's live. It's good energy, but it's yeah, I'm feeling the it, good. It, it is good energy. It's loving energy. It's high vi vibrational energy, but it's triggering the ones, the negative ones too. So the oh, people yeah. with negative, yeah, it, it's triggering the, them. Yeah, but the low, the the unawakened should be start waking up, and that's triggering the negative parts of them. So you're going to see more um, of this. So what okay, you want to do is you don't want to lower your vibration to get the, the, to help people. You want to keep your vibration high and, and help people that way from up here, not from lowering your vibration. So everybody needs to keep their vibration up here. And I thought I could, but honestly, and I was like, I thought I could. I mean, I, if we talk, like I was playing in exactly where I was supposed to be at. I thought I could, but, but by the end like of somebody, the day, but I don't say could. I will. I will. <laughs> I thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I thought I will. I thought I will. No, and I will. no, you are. I, you will. I have and I yeah. Will. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I have and yeah. I will. I was like, I have and I will. I think it's just best for me to right now not try and help anyone. I think it's better for me just to sit and maintain. By the way, the selfish. Next no, it doesn't it. sound selfish. You can you can sit and send them love and light from your position, yes, and yes. Keep it, keeping your vibration and and maintaining your because when you keep your vibration and raise your vibration, you're affecting people 18 miles around you in a radius. You are raising their vibration. Oh, I love that. So as you raise, as you keep yours and raise yours, you're you're affecting people, and and that radius will increase as you raise yours. Okay. So you the, are uh, people. The thing in the back of your neck, of course, some damage that's been healed as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Like I we do sent, feel we all much feel better. Healing. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I do feel like honestly, it feels like new again. It felt broken. I was like, say, do you want to say stop? Broken. Um, stop. Well, I feel complete right now. I feel like my heart now is able to go into yes. my head space again. Yes. And I feel like I can do my light language. I literally didn't feel like I could do any light language. I was like, I don't know what has happened. Yeah. So self acceptance yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> far too difficult on yourself. Start lowering yourself in now and study. You need to learn. Go go on your skills. So go on. Give us a bit of your light language. Then. Okay. Um. Right. <laughs> light language day. Kushina te kia washa na tu shi ti a kina te kaya ta washi ni ti a washa kia and kena ti a kaya na ti a washi na ti a. That's it. I love the trees and I love Mother Earth. Excellent. Okay. Thank you guys. I love your hat. Thank you. I'm in a baseball game with my niece and I was like, I can't miss this. Um, I will send a donation. Thank you guys so much for all your kindness. Yeah. Always, you guys are like, Thank you. You impress me so much with your kindness. I'm so appreciative. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Just any day, the healing energy that we gave you last another seven seven days. So it'll stay yes, with you. Yes. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.
There's energy in that in that light, right? I felt it. Lots of <laughs> lots of energy in that one. Thank you. And for us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Jillian, Jillian, are you with us? Is that the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Can I have a scan, please? Yeah. Can I see you, please? Uh, I'm in the hall. Can you not see me? I can see me, Sam. I can see a window. I, I can, can see us. Am I looking at the wrong Jillian? Yeah. There she is. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong Jillian. <laughs> there. You're in the hospital bed? No, I've come home. And... Oh, your face is beet red. Yeah. Do you have a fever? I have. I, yeah, it was worship last night. Early hours this morning. Is there a rod going down your back? I just can't look at the minute. Um, I think it was about after three in the morning. It was like the energies that I ground um, just went crazy when I stood up. It was like um, they weren't grounding, I was bouncing. No, this isn't a grounding rod. There's something in going in your down your spine. That's what I mean. I think um, I could feel the frequencies that I ground that I can hear. It was almost like they started bouncing in the body instead of grounding. Uh, and I was just boiling, ringing wet. I can feel that pain down the spine. What the heck but is that? Is that I'm another thing to drain it. to drain her energy? I think so, yeah. Definitely. She's got an octopus behind her eyes. I can feel that. Um, it feels like a it's in the back of my eyes, something right at the back of my head. And it, something was across my forehead, but I can't feel that as much now. Well, it, it's an octopus. It closes, it opens its its tentacles. So it, it can, when it tries to be nondescript, it closes up into a small little ball. But then when yeah. it wants, it, then it opens up and all its tentacles go out and it, and it does. It does. <laughs> It goes into your body, it goes into your head, into your ears, down into all over the place. And it does, it gives you pain, it, it attaches to all these different parts of your body, into your nervous system. Right now it's hiding, it's trying to, well, it thinks it's hiding, it's, it's like into a little ball. But it was, it was affecting your eye, it was affecting, I saw where it, it was attached to all of these places. Something um, has been stinging me as well because um, it, it felt really sharp and stingy. Uh, I think it hit the bottom of my foot and the side of my left leg. Yeah, well, that would be that, that thing that's sticking in your back. It's like a long metal. It looks metal, but I'm not sure what it is. It's going down your spine. It has something coming out of it, like tentacles. I just don't know where, how, how to get where, it. I don't know. I've never seen anything like the, these things until today. It's like it has these arms coming out. Can you feel that, Julian? I'm just really hot. Uh, you're, uh, just, you're exhausted? Hot. Yeah. Hot. Yeah. That rod's just come out. Oh. It's like uh, it's kind of like uh, it's the Kundalini energy. Yes, um, there's been um, Earth Kundalini energies coming up from the last shift um, around the time of the blood moon. Uh, these kundalini energies came up for the collective. You should start feeling better now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Goodness. Just start feeling. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they, they Phil took them out. Now we're gonna send healing through you now. Thank you. They're from every. You know that that's what we've been finding all day with is the um, these weird new. I don't know what you would call them. Devices, I guess. It's a creator sending energy through Rick into you, the white diamond light. Yeah, they were really sneaky today because um, they didn't even ask me or tell me. They just, uh, as I was waiting, um, 
He just sent a porter to me and sent me for a chest x-ray. And I was like, why am I having a chest x-ray? Hmm. And as usual, I go, I go everywhere. I, the longest route around the biggest trauma centre in the country. Are you feeling better? Yeah, and I, I don't feel as hot now. I'm cooling down. Good. Well, what do you have? Well, everything's shifting. You're back here now, but very bad. I just can't figure out who it's getting in because I've been um, doing um, pillars of light with um, blue, red, and then gold dome afterwards. So it isn't as if I haven't been doing any work. That's a good point by uh, iPhone 13. Yeah. The radiation from the x-rays can create distortion in your fields and make it easy for things to get in. It's a good point, that. Yeah, it is, it is. Um, but that was only um, this afternoon. I felt a lot worse yesterday. The, re- the uh, x-rays are weak in your aura field as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, but they never even said anything to me. I didn't even see the doctor. Just a porter turned up, wheels me down. And you know what I'm like. You have to take me past the morgue. <laughs> Think about past there twice. Do you want two cards? Yes, please. Please stop. Stop. Oh, nice cards. Playfulness and celebration. So you've yeah. got to start making a bit of fun for yourself and celebrate your intent. Your life is about to change. So you can get a big celebration with that. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I think making fun in your life would raise your vibration anyway. To be it honest raises. with you, till I got um, hit with this, um, I felt I was having massive shifts, mm. real big um, shifts. Shack, the shack was upgrading everything. Might be just a delay, man. You might have just thought you've done too much. Let's just give a few, you know, a delay on it, you know, like a break. Yeah, but um, I wasn't um, doing it myself, if that makes sense. Mm. It was almost like um, just the energies and the frequencies I hear. Yeah. I just let go and let take over mm. uh, and physically felt my chakras moving and shifting. So I don't know, like I say, I don't know. Probably um, pick some up from the astral and everything anyway. Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I'm just letting it go. Exactly. Thank you. It is, you know, they at the end of the day, they need the energy. They're trying to make as many light workers energy as they can. Yeah, for this time, eh, I knew it was really bad because of how drained I was. I, physically, I everybody always says I've got a high pain threshold anyway, but I knew I was at my limit with it. So, um, and I knew something didn't feel right because I thought, oh, it's gone away, but I, I just knew there was some. It was on the peripheral somewhere. I thought it had shifted it. Well, many, many don't realise what they do is that. They're stealing your energy, your soul energy, but they're also stopping your journey. It's a double whammy for them. So they're stopping your journey and they're using your energy. They're siphoning it for the room, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. But but they also stop your journey. Yeah. Your face isn't red anymore. You look so much better. Yeah, um, it was just absolutely awful in the early hours. I think it was after three o'clock. I stood up and I could feel the frequencies bouncing around my body. It was like, um, the floor felt like marshmallows. It was that unsteady. Um, the, the, being, the being that went in the ball, my being that eats things like that, kicked it out of you in an edit. <laughs> and a game of football with it. <laughs> you must be watching too much talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. You're welcome. Thank you. Anybody else today? Uh, you. You have an healing, Deb. And I am, I suppose, after that. Right. Julie is going to fix your uh, nervous system. So, Julia, she's asleep. <laughs> she does live. Julie, Julie's going to heal my nerve damage. Nerve damage, yeah. Come on, Julie. Or should we call her by a normal name? She may not be here. That's the name, Joe. Okay. She's asleep. Yeah, must be late. It's all right. Which, which uh, Wendy said, what crystals can I carry for extra aura protection? 
Factor Green. Factor Green is quite good, I suppose. Yeah, yeah I, it is. I, I, I have all these protections. One of them is the Shanghai with the frequency. Shanghai. Shanghai, yeah. I know, I always say that. Now. <laughs> and I have all symbols. I tend to do the symbol ones like that one. Yeah. That's an ancient, that's 19. That's a channel. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of these are powered up, so they're not crystals, they're actual t t t uh, is it tablets or something. What crystals could be. Rick has a medicine brown, bag. Brown it's quartz. a Native American medicine bag. Smoked quartz, smoked quartz. Can, you can use it too, the brown one. If you had smoked quartz and hold it in your hand and program it to protect you, You'd, be, you'd, you'd, you'd create a shield around it. So anything that comes in it, it'd absorb, it, absorb the energy. So that, that'd be good. I have a medicine bag too, but I, it's, it's kind of big. It was it's, it was really handmade by um, a guy up in Payson from Deerskin. And um, it has tobacco and, it ha I mean, it's like a Native American medicine bag. It's got all the stuff in it that, that Natives would wear around their neck. Nice. Crystal, it's got a crystal in it, tobacco, or something else, uh, a feather, a, a raven feather, an eagle feather, and something else. I can't remember. Deb, Don, Don wants, uh, he's asking if his wife tells him to Who is? Trish was in Don. a bit of puttering. I just went to check on her and she was doubled over, injured her inner left side. She pointed to the chair and, okay, yes, Don. Trish. Do you want me, do you want me to fix your nerve damage then, Deb? Well, we're going. Deb. What? I'll, I'll fix your nerve damage while we wait. I would love it fixed. I would try to. I shouldn't say I'll try, I will fix it. Zeus is having a meltdown. <laughs> have you got a bad back as well? I have a really bad back. A neck as well. Yes, sir, I do. That's where all the nerve damage is. I'm sending 60 energy. Right, sorry, just finish that. Okay. Sorry, I was waving and sorry. Hello. I to Trish. Hi, Trish. Hi, Trish. Uh, Woo! <laughs> I love. Oh, oh my God! I love you. You do. I love you. Yeah. I'm gonna. We're gonna do healing on you. Okay. You want us to do healing? Well, just, just sit down. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, so you may feel some warmth, okay? We're going to make, make you feel better. All right, sweetheart? Oh. I love you so much, yeah. You may, feel some, you may feel some warmth going through you, okay? We're going to he do healing. You're going to feel heat going through you, Trish. Oh. It's warm with two. She's sending light too. <laughs> Yay! Love, love her so much. Oh, oh, oh. Those were her friends. Yeah. I think she pulled her groin. Mm -hmm. She pulled her groin muscle a little. Don. Okay, thank you. I wasn't so sure. We're sending, we're sending healing there. Thank you. I know. I oh, hey. hug her so much. Hugging you so much, Twist, Trish. Giving you hugs. I love you. I love you. And thank you, Wilma. Hi. We see you. <laughs> <laughs> she is so sweet. And she's just a. She's a delight to be with. When we're out in public. I'll tell you. Oh. It's all right. She's the yeah. best. She's um. She's got the biggest heart. Her heart is just full of love. She gets frustrated. She gets so frustrated because nobody understands her. Oh. I understand you. I know exactly what you're thinking. Oh. I do. Her frequency is a little little faster than everybody else's right now. Yes, yes. What? And what she, you, she, what she, when she speaks, she's this, running her words together as well. We had a yes. higher frequency. Yes. That's right. Uh, do you feel better? Is it better? Does it feel better, Trish? Do you feel better now? Yeah. In your leg? Is your leg better? She's nodding, yes. <laughs> Thank Aww. you very much. 
You're welcome. Hi. Well, love you both. We love you. Yeah. We love you. She loves Wilma's. Uh, Wilma, do some light language. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Wilma. Appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> that was clear as a bell. Yep. Oh. Thanks, Wilma. Send him Trish. Send him your big dog. What's that, Phil? Send him your big dog, both of you. Thank you, Bunch. And a geog. <laughs> <laughs> So. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. Appreciate that was so beautiful. Okay. And now we end this. Two weeks from today is going to be Australia and New Zealand again. Okay. One sec. I think uh, Joan's awake. Joan? She's in the messages. Oh. Hi, Joan. <laughs> she's, saying, she's repairing your nerve damage. Yeah. Even though I've done that. We'll go. Okay. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> me when... If we are just fat feel okay, <laughs> I will send some healing. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do light language for everyone who wants healing. Okay. I don't know who is that, but it's so hard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else?